think of the unsuspecting innocence of all the babies born in New Zealand this year and then think of the life that lies before them. 8,000 of us beaten and maimed by our parents. Thousands more of us watch our mother and father fight. It's an experience we'll never forget. While a further 6,000 of us have to adjust to the trauma of a broken home. For many of us, our teenage years will be too much, so we'll look for ways to escape. Some of us will, forever. This year's telethon, it's our chance to change things. telethon 
And in that time, much has changed. Not all of it for the better. Violence has become an all too familiar part of our lives. This year's telethon is dedicated to changing all that. We want to make our homes, our streets, our country a safer, more gentle place in which to live. This year's telethon is not about throwing money at short-term solutions. It's about changing the very basis of our society. The Home and Neighbourhood Trust will distribute our money to groups working at the grassroots of conflict in our community. Basically, what we're trying to do here is build a better, brighter future for our children. This is Telethon. It's our chance to change things. So I hope you'll join us over the next 24 hours and help make this Telethon extra special. Right now, I'd like you to meet my co-host, crime buster extraordinaire, Natalie Brunt. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, everybody. Well, you may be wondering why we're dressed like this. You see, while the cause is a serious one, there's no reason why we can't have fun while raising money for it, and that's what we intend to do. Talathon is New Zealand's midwinter carnival. It's a 24-hour party, and you're invited. We've got a great lineup of overseas stars here for you to meet. So first up in Auckland, please welcome Golden Girl Estelle Getty. <laughs> The Late Late Breakfast Show, Mike Smith. And co host of BBC TV's Going Live, Sarah Green. And two familiar faces the uh, commercial bus will recognise Graham Gordon and Vince Martin. <laughs> From the hit American drama Hooperman, Alex Elias. And that gorgeous LA lawyer, Blair Underwood. Well, that's Auckland. Now let's see who's who and what's what down the rest of the country. In Wellington, here's Jeff Bryan. Whoa! Maybe the middle of winter. It's red hot in the capital tonight. And our international guests, oh, Peggy, oh, that's lovely. Oh, oh dear. And it's head loves it. <laughs> oh, yeah. petite. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. <laughs> you never guess who this is. Pelly. Oh. Yes, get it, Peggy. I'm not a Peggy. footballer. <laughs> Peggy Ollerinshaw, also known as Sue Pollard. Peggy, you've been in the country a day and a half. You've not stopped. Is there anything you won't do for telethon? Well, I'll do anything, but. Uh, I better not take my clothes off because it'll be a bit of a shock. They might be sick. <laughs> She's going to be a real problem for me, this woman. <laughs> Do you know what you're in for? I think so, yes. But I don't mind because I, I'm a store with I've been after my yellow coat for long enough, so I don't mind what's in store for me. Great. Well, there you are. Plenty of challenges to put forward for Peggy Bar Sue over the next 24 hours. Our other international guest from Dynasty, or Dynasty, depending on which school you went to, James Healy. <laughs> James, you're here because you're a, you're a cool, suave guy. <coughs> G'day, mate. How are you? <laughs> He's at home, this boy. He's at home. Yeah. You're sweating, too. That's not allowed. We can't help Your it. dynasty, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> We're set for a great time in the capital city and also, of course, Nelson and Marlborough, the West Coast and Buller, our region, and it's going to be a great telethon. We're very excited. Now let's go to Dunedin. Yay! Good evening, New Zealand. Good evening, New Zealand, from the telethon city of Dunedin. This one's Hilary Muir. And this is my very good friend, Peter Hayden. 
How are you all? Listen, we're going to have a fine old time here for the next 24 hours. We're going to bring you reports, we're going to bring you, be bringing you acts, and of course the all-important moolah, the donations. But right now, I'd like to introduce you to our favourite overseas guest. Next to me, from Coronation Street, Gail, Helen Worth. Hello, everybody! It's good to be here! Next to her, Chrissy from Boys and the Black Stuff, Michael Angelis. Hi, everybody! And next to him, it's a bad guy too good for this evening, Ian Rawlings, better known as Wayne, from Sons and Daughters. G'day, everybody. It's nice to be here in Dunedin. And even further south, it's our Lady of the South, Suzanne Prentice. Hello. And Hello, Blair. A big Hello, clap Blair. for Suzanne, be because she's actually seven months pregnant, so there's both of her here for the <laughs> evening. And on the end, let's not forget, Suzanne Lynch. Thanks for Hi, joining everybody. us, Suzanne. enough to have in the South in Invercargill, Pat Everson. And don't forget, a host behind us now here in Dunedin of national stars from right throughout the country. We've got a touch of gloss with Gene Ng and Mark Ferguson. All the best to you for Telethon. Over to Hamilton. Uh, yeah, good day. Uh, Crocodile Hawks B here. Welcome to Hamilton. Lovely to have you with us. Excuse me just a moment. Won't take long. Sorry, those crocodiles are everywhere. Of course, we've got the Australians with us from Sons and Daughters, that Australian soap. A couple of lovelies here from over the other side. Antonia and Kim, lovely to have you girls with us. You know I've always had a bit of a crush on her. You're the best looking Kiwi I've ever seen. Oh, hey, listen, flattery will get you everywhere, girls. I'm just dressed like this. Yeah, just dressed like this so you'll feel a little bit more relaxed. That's what CR is all about, of course. Uh, this reciprocal arrangement we have with the Aussies. We give them our best league players and they give us their... Uh, Best crocodile essence. And of course, uh, from America, from Barney Miller. Whoa, Joe, lovely to have you with us, Mr. Max Gale. It's Max, great to be here. You know what? Thank you. Sorry, you let me. You hold the uh, lantern and I'll shovel for a while. Okay, and listen, there'll be, uh, there'll be absolutely no Polish jokes throughout the 24 hours, okay? All right. <laughs> All right, there we go. That's our lineup so far. And I'd, right now, I'd like to introduce to you the only lady, my co host, my co host here in Hamilton, the only lady in television that's got a bigger gap between the teeth than me. Angela Dorden. Oh, why, thank you, John. Of course, he wouldn't have dared say that a minute ago while I was still standing next to him holding his gun. However, as the song says, we're here to find a way, and all these people behind me are here to find a way and take your phone calls, and you're going to keep them really busy, aren't you? And also finding a way tonight, over in the audience, we have Howard Morrison. Kia ora, and welcome to Telethon. We indeed are Hamilton. Are we Hamilton? Oh! Stephen! Are we in Hamilton? As you can see, there's the usual uh, craziness here at the moment in Hamilton, so we're going to do our thing and let you do your thing. So here's Ken Ellis in Christchurch. Oh. It sounds to me as though serious kind of fun here over the next 24 hours. Good evening and welcome to Christchurch. I hope you can hear me. I can hardly hear me. This is Action Central for Telethon and Christchurch for the next 24 hours. How about an even bigger Christchurch and Canterbury welcome to our overseas stars from Entertainment This Week, Entertainment This Telethon. Here's Lisa Gibbons! Really great people working with us, some great people in the audience, and we look forward to seeing all of you. Too right, we're going to have some serious kind of fun, and to help us do just that, all the way from Coronation Street, everybody's favorite mechanic, Christopher Quinton. Chris. Hello, New Zealand. All I can say tonight, we're going to have some fun tonight. We're going to have some fun tonight. You better believe that too. And with a gloss on our telephone, all the way from gloss, here's Peter Elliott. Peter. And a cast not of thousands, but here's our cast of idiots that'll help us over the next 24 hours. Okay, that's just some of what we have for you right here. Thank you. Some of what we have for you right here at Christchurch. Let's go and see what's happening in Palmerston North. <laughs> Thank you very much and good evening. Welcome to uh, a very special region of Telethon. 
We have a slight problem, and how do we describe our area? We're not the top of the North Island, but neither are we the South. We're kind of in the middle, but we go to the East and we go to the West as well. So we had to find some way to describe our place. We've decided to call it for the next 24 hours, officially, the East Enders, because they're here to join us. Ladies and gentlemen, Susan Tully and Letitia Dean, welcome to Telethon and Palmerston North, you. our special base camp for a very special reason. Yes. Now tell me, uh, you, you, you sort of left a very ailing grandmother behind if you've been following the series. So. She's not very well, but I've got a big family and they're, all, they're looking after her really well, so I can rest assured. They're in great hands. I've got to ask you uh, this question. Is there anything that you won't do for Telethon? Um, yes! Take their clothes off. Take their clothes off. Anything else? I don't else? want to hear any of it. Roger Gascoigne, ladies and gentlemen, and other panellists. Nice to see you. Hey, you guys did the British telethon, didn't you? Yes, we did. Oh, well, it was, it was a good rehearsal. You ain't seen it nothing is, yet. Yeah, More people sure. to meet up the back, Bob. <laughs> well, up here, of course, we've got Lisa Chappell and Simon Prass from Gloss. <laughs> ready to go there. All right. And if you follow that show, you know that this is one brother and sister who often have a lot that's not in common. And the thing that really worries us is this going to be bitter, twisted and, and nasty between you guys? Or for 24 hours, can we do something? Oh, we might be able to work something out. Can you give <laughs> us an example of a new kind of... Oh, oh hold on. Woo! I would, uh, I would point out that they are brother and sister. Let's not get too carried away here. We're going to get carried away over the next 24 hours with a lot of fun. Won't you join us, please, for Telethon right after this break? It's the tub. Pandemonium. Well, it's time to take our very first donations for this Telethon 88. And with me, I have got, let me get this right, I've got Sarah Morgan. Hi, Sarah. Hi. And I also have Pamela Curry. Hi. Would you like to tell everybody what you've been doing for Telethon? We've been car washing at Games, Europa Games Bridge. How many cars did you get through? No, I'm not quite sure. Lots and lots? Yeah. You've got all the car washing gear there. How much money did you girls ra raise for Telethon? Now, it wasn't just the two of you, was it? There were a lot of girls. Uh, there were three of us. How much money did you raise? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. There's our first donation for Telethon. Let's have a look up on the board and we'll see our first total. There it is. There's our first fifty dollar total for Telethon. Right now, we have something very special lined up for you. All right. Something very special. But I tell you what, we need a hand for this. We need a countdown, folks. So let's hear it. Yeah. Ten, nine, eight, seven. So turn the telly up loud and sing the song, okay? Are you ready now? Here we go! Hey, it's a rap, it's a rap, it's a telethon rap, it's a rap, it's a rap, it's a telethon rap. There's a party here, it's time to ship. It's a rap, it's a telethon rap. So shows you can and you know where. It's a rap, telethon rap. So come on, for it, it's not a sin. It's a rap, it's a telethon rap. It's a rap, it's a telethon rap. It's a rap, it's a telethon rap. Yeah! Hey, okay. hey, hey, come on! Woo! Yeah. All right! <laughs> Fabulous. Well, we're underway. Telethon 
us up and running. It is so nice to have you here, Chris, Lisa, Peter. We've, we've had a couple of days to kind of uh, get to know you. Uh, you've had a couple of, well, you've been here, what, uh, half a dozen times, I think. Lisa, half a dozen you? times. I'm right. going to buy property in this place because I feel like I love I it I can so see much. real estate agents queuing up to do the deal right That's now. That's right, no me. problem. Chris, no this problem. is your first time here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and I'm having a brilliant time. It's amazing. Um, that, our producer, I mean, uh, the reason why he looks after us and makes us so welcome is that we've got to stay here for the full 24 hours. So there's no way we can go to bed now. I've been helicopter flying, I've been skiing, I've been this, I've been that. It's wonderful. Peter, this is your first telethon in Christchurch, isn't it? Yes, my first telethon actually working on a panel. I did a setting crew some years ago, and I, I believe I painted something at once. So you've actually worked on the other side of the, uh, the, yeah. the crew, haven't you? Yeah. 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 Well, welcome to the front of the cameras. Thank you very and, much. Uh, Brad, you can take some time off from Gloss. And, of course, telethon just would not be telethon without our very own wizard. Wizard, it's great to have you with us. Are you in good spirits? I am indeed very excellent spirits. All prepared for this. You brought your spirits along with you, I've been you? training them. Oh, excellent, excellent. Okay, well, it is, I think, we couldn't really kick off a telethon, could we, without the traditional wizard's blessing? blessing. You feel a blessing coming on? I feel a blessing coming Here we are. A blessing from the wizard. Do it, wizard, do it. Right. Let's hear it. Blessing. I call on the great spirit of telethon, who washes over us all, to smile upon thy humble mortals down below. And make quite sure that this is our best telethon yet. Are you ready for the spell? Thank you. You know what he's gone and done? He's gone and scared our overseas stars. Look. Anything. Anything. That's just one of his things. That's worse where that came from. Well, all right, let's make ourselves comfortable here. We're here for the long haul. We've got about another, by golly, by my reckon, 23 and a half hours to go. Our phones are just waiting, dying for you to call in. We've got to take a, a little break coming up in just a couple of seconds, but rest assured, we will be back in a moment with a vengeance. It's a celebration. The New Zealand Lotteries Commission and Television New Zealand present the live telethon draw of Lotto! Welcome to our live Lotto Draw, tonight coming live from the Auckland Town Hall. That means we're right smack bang in the middle of this crazy midwinter carnival of fundraising and fundraising. And boy, what a party. We're half an hour down, half an hour already gone. 23 and a half hours of party yet to come. Ellie Smith, Ellie, where are you? Ellie, come on, come on and help me. Hi. Hi. I'm Ooh. sorry we couldn't bring the whole dance troupe, but there yeah. wouldn't have been room for all the telephone workers. However, we do have a very special guest who's flown in to help yep. telethon. Estelle Getty from Golden Girls. Hi, Hi Estelle. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> welcome to Lotto and welcome to New Zealand Pure. I, I am just so excited. I'm, I'm nervous and excited to be yep. here. I mean, I've looked forward to this for so long. I can't tell you. Well, I can tell you what. We're playing with the Golden Girls. Let's play with some gold. I think it's time we saw what we're playing for tonight. And in Division 1, we have $979,893. And a total prize pool of $2,799,695. Whoa. Great. Wouldn't it be wonderful if the person or persons who won Lotto would give part of it to tele Telethon? Oh, that's a great I know suggestion. they will. I know they will. Yeah, it's a great cause. And it's a great prize, too. We're on Lotto draw number 48. I think it's time we played Lotto. Put you all out of your misery. I know you're all going to win, aren't you? OK, <laughs> let's go. Let's put the balls down. The scrutineers have given us the OK. And we are underway. Last week's draw produced two millionaires. Two winners who shared the jackpot of well over two million dollars. Oh Will it be your turn tonight? Now the six needed for the first division will start with this ball. It's number 37. 37. 
seven. Well, Estelle, here's a chance for you to practice your Maori pronunciation. See, as one of our millionaire winners from last week came from Te Puki. To Pookie? I uh -huh. thought it was to puke. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm, I'm going to practice. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. The other millionaire. Oh, no. Number 29. That's right. I can, well, I can tell you that the Tepuki winners are a middle-aged couple who picked their own numbers. And I don't know what system they use, but it certainly was effective and profitable. And speaking of profitable, Lotto is this week helping Telethon funds. And here's the third ball, number 14. That's right. Ten cents from every Lotto entry goes into Telethon this week. Well, though so far... We have uh, the uh, 7, 29, and 14. And here we and go. Here's number four. With number, number 21, the fourth Ooh. number out. And of course, every entry means 10 cents for telethon. Just how much is raised is being calculated right now and will be announced tomorrow. Right now, though, let's get this fifth ball out. And here it is. It's number 38. How are you doing so far? 38. Oh. Well, Estelle, this is the big moment. Are you ready oh, for the sixth number? Oh, this is very number? exciting. I'm very nervous. This last number could mean the winner, right? This is, this is the. <laughs> The winner number. This is certainly the big one. 37, 29, 14, 21, and 38. And the lucky last in the big six tonight. Here it comes. Here it comes. Number 30. 30. And still that barrel rolls for the bonus. Three plus the bonus is the fifth division. The minimum you need to be a lotto winner. Get that or better on the same line and... You're in the money. <laughs> <laughs> and we hope you are too. Oh, how well, exciting. There we bonus go. Bonus number. The bonus number. Let's open the, the gates. Bonus number now. For draw 48. And here it is. Here it is. It's number 12. 12. Number 12. Wow. Well, it's the lineup and draw 48. Now. As usual, the numbers will be confirmed later tonight, but because this is a telethon special, we'll also tell the winners just how much they've won. That's right, that's coming up soon as the computers have done their work down on the uh, telethon, down on the, in the telethon? Boy, a telethon on <laughs> the brain. Down in the Lotto headquarters, they're working on it right now, and later on we'll tell you exactly what you've won, so stay tuned, don't go away. Of course you're not, it's a party, you'll stay right here. I can't believe we just give away all that money. Well, we do that every week and right. stuff, oh, you know, but you won't believe the way New Zealanders give to Telethon, it's amazing. Well, I want to see it. Well, don't forget tonight, you can see how much you've won, Ellie, right? Right. And tomorrow, how much Lotto is raised for Telethon, of course, too. Thanks, Ellie. Okay. Thanks, Estelle. Good night. And good luck to the winners. Well done, congratulations, and a reminder, too. A reminder, please, to support Telethon. Back next week. Good night. Good night. Good night. Congratulations and celebrations. You've played it, watched it, won it. You've played it, watched it, won it. Roll, 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 roll. Lots of souls are born. 56,000 babies. Play good times, come on. It's a celebration. Telephone can help a woman like Helen that came to me after several beatings. She had just been beaten up with her child and she needed a safe place to stay. We were able to provide a safe place for her to stay and with the help of Telethon, with funding, we can help to keep these safe houses going, to keep women out of violent relationships. Guess what? Guess what? You'll never believe us, we won lotto! Just kidding, just kidding. Whoever won, can we get him on the phone right away and get we him should. to pledge away a, a lot of it? We should, that should be worth at least a thousand dollars, shouldn't oh, it? at least. At Speaking least of which, much. we have some pledges here. Let's get stuck in. Now, a great one here, the Banks oh. Avenue School. The kids at the school raised the money by holding a hat -a -thon. Do you know how much money they raised? Oh, These well, are the well, kids, a hat -a -thon. They must have all been wearing hats. They've raised $1,100 for the That's kids great. at Banks Avenue School. <laughs> well done, kids. Now. We have a letter here. I've got to read this out. This is from Lynette Lintott, who is speaking or writing on behalf of Pain Action in New Zealand. She says, see the attached form. Here's the letter. Newsflash. Kidnapped well-known psychiatrist and ph uh, physiotherapist Margaret Moon. Margaret Moon's been kidnapped from her office in Victoria Street. Her captors will release her on the condition that her patients and all Payne's members pay $2 to Telethon. And the following people, now there are too many names here to mention, pay at least $15. Let's make the whole thing simple. Let's say as many members of Payne's as possible. $15 to Telethon and Margaret Moon will be released. Otherwise, I think she's stuck in the ACC building in Tewham Street. Hang Let's hear it from Margaret. the Payne's people. Hang in there, Margaret. That's a great you, idea. That's a great idea, right? First of all, Lisa, I got some hard, cold cash money here, Ken. We're talking oh. 10 bucks that came in because I gave somebody an autograph. Now, if an autograph is worth 10 bucks, Chris has done about 3,000 of them in the last yeah. five minutes. <laughs> right. That that uh, That adds right up.
Hey, uh, Maxwell Ewan from Canterbury, he's the Westland manager of Westpac. He has given $100 because they, uh, he had a helicopter ride on Friday. It must have been pretty good, as good as your helicopter ride that you had. It was wonderful. I've got one from, uh, from El McLeod and uh, from Christchurch, and it's from the Papua Nui Bowling Club, and they've donated, they've donated $50, so thank you very much. That's going in the bin. Peter. Peter. All right, I've got one here from the Fijian community and friends. They've managed to raise $222.77. They held a, an evening called a Kapi, which has done very well, and something from the Rest Haven Eventide Home. They've raised $55 uh, via donations, and Stuart Rankin and seven others raised $300 by pushing a wheelbarrow from the town hall to Sumner and back. Very nice of them. How are the wizards? Wizard. 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 Oh, got, yes, huh? Alf and Mary Sculfer. I had Australian Silky Terriers fancy dress in shopping malls and raised $94. <laughs> Cheer for that one. And also Nina O'Sullivan, a schoolgirl from Wakanui School, Nashburton, had a stall at school and raised $53. Well hey. done, Nina. Thank you very much, Richard. Thank you. And now let's go and meet two of our cast of helpers here. We have a lot of them, but let's go and see what Michelle Accord and Liz Grant are up to. Michelle and Liz. Thanks very much, Ken. Well, as you know, everybody's been so very busy around Canterbury, and we've got a group here who have been doing a lot of hard work. They're known as Kilmarnock Enterprises, or perhaps better known as the Canterbury Sheltered Workshop. Kelvin, you've been doing a lot of walk. You've done a walkathon and raised a tremendous sum. How much money? Um, 1,829 cents. That's an enormous sum. How did you do it? Well, we were the committee member, me and a few other people. We, um... You walked around Hagley Park. That's really great, Kelvin. Thank you. And also from the Canterbury Sheltered Workshop, we have another pair here who've also raised some money with a video a thon. How did you do it, Emma? Well, I asked Mrs. Carr if I could have the permission to do it all, and she said I could. So I told everyone around the workshop, and then after that, I just raised the money, which is $34.50. And I just want to thank everyone at Kilmarnock Enterprise for taking part. $34.50, that's a great sum. Now, Michelle, over to you. Thanks, Liz, that's great. Over here, we've got Bruce from Bethany Village. Bruce, you've got some money in a bucket here. What's the story? Yeah, Salvation Army Bethany Village, old people, had a concert amongst themselves and raised $320. That's wonderful. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's great. Let's go over here. Right, there's some interesting people over here dressed up for us. Hi, is, are you Margaret? Maureen, she changed her name in between times. Now, Maureen, what have you got for us? Uh, we're nurses from the ground floor of Coronation Hospital, and we have collected $296 on the way here, pushing this wheelchair with our old lady Johnson, and, and she would like to give the money to Christopher Quentin. Oh, Chris, come over here. Chris, hey, come on. Oh, and she, oh, and she wants... She wants to kiss you as well, Chris. Which one? Can I kiss them all? Or just this one here? Hello, darling, how are you? What are you, where, what are you presenting me with, eh? $296.51, that's wonderful. <laughs> Give the kiss. It's wonderful. All I can say, Michelle, is such a good job, because I get the chance to kiss all the girls. Over here, there's somebody I might be able to kiss down here. Excuse me, I'm talking to Jeff over here. Jeff, what have you got for us? I've got a cheque which we uh, managed to raise $478. How'd you do that? Well, mm. we had to just find an idea which was original to raise funds for Talithon. And uh, I was looking in the lost and found key box the other day and thought, gee, we've got a heap of lost and found keys. What can we do with them? And they ran the local uh, scrap dealers of Iver Scrap Metal, and they said instead of giving us 80 cents a kilo, they'd give us $2 a kilo for Telethon. That's wonderful. What an original idea. So all the police stations around the district uh, handed in the boxes of old lost and found keys they've had stored up over the years. And with the support of uh, Galt Locksmith and Chris Ball, uh, we ended up with uh, quite a large amount, and it came to $478. Great, that's wonderful. $478 for lost and found property. Hey, and um, speaking of lost and found, Amber and Alistair are outside. Let's go and see what they're up to. <laughs> well, oh, look. Oh, 
I tell you what, it's an awful lot uh, warmer in there than it is out here. I, I, was, I wondered what the noise was about. There wasn't really actually much noise at all. Um, Paul, tell us about this um, unnoisy car. Well, it's a uh, 1928 Model A Ford Tourer body being shortened down to a two-door and it powered by a 402 Chevrolet supercharged engine. No, I tell you what, I, was, um, I, I came out here and he was sitting on the head, is that uh, to the layman, that's the exhaust pipe, it's warming his uh, uh, Levi's. Yes, um, those, those things there, the engine was running. That, that's the only time the engine was running, is that right? Yep, that's true. And you pushed, pushed it from where to where? We've, we left from uh, Wooden Service Station and come through to Christchurch. Really. That's, that's their sponsor, isn't it? And they gave, what, 200 bucks or something? We, and, oh, but wait for this. The grant, how much have you um, collected all oh, told? We raised, um, I think it's over $1,500. $1,500? Yeah, come on! <laughs> and how many, how many people pushed this thing? There was a uh, total of 13 people. 13 people? Unlucky for some. And how long did it take? <laughs> uh, about eight and a half hours. A few so, stops in between. So like you're not going to get, uh, well, it's pretty, pretty economical. Well, well, it's about the most economical as Truffitt's ever done. Right. Okay, well, uh, think we'll wander over with me to um, see Ember. Watch it now. Uh, excuse me. Uh, hi, Ember, how are you doing? Here. Hey! Here we are here with Terry and his troopers. Terry, what have you done? about half past 12 this morning and, and pushed this great drum all the way through through Christchurch to um, here, half past seven. It's tasty, isn't it? How much money have you raised? Almost $3,000. $3,000? Oh! <laughs> and you... And Terry, what else have you got for us? There's, there's $100 if, if you would actually wear one of our... Um, uh, shirts plus one hundred dollars. If uh, what's her name, Lisa Gibbons. Lisa, not Chris. Lisa wears a uh, jersey as well. I think we can do that. Okay, back inside where it's warm. Do you can. Whoa! Thank you, Andrew. Let's. Well, we've had all these donations, of course. I think it's time we went to the board. What do you think? Let's have a look at our, our totals board and see just how much money we got in the kitty now. Here we go. And slowly it rolls, and we ha how about that ten thousand four hundred and eighty? Time for some more entertainment now. Cast your mind back to telephones gone by. One name stands out, doesn't it? The name of Yoland Gibson, ladies and gentlemen. Some say love, it is a river that drowns tender.
Thank you, Yo. Yo, Land Gibson, folks, and that beautiful song, The Rose. The movie was on television a little while ago. Did you ever review The Rose? Do you remember reviewing The Rose? Oh, the Rose. Oh, the Rose. Marvelous. Bette Midler's yeah. prime, prime moment. Right. I loved it. Yo, Gibson does a pretty good job of the two, doesn't she? Uh, absolutely. Yeah, beautiful. Lisa, you have some pledges for us. Got some pledges. I do. L.W. Drummond from Christchurch has given $100. He says uh, it came from a collection they took up at the Square Dance last Saturday. Must have had a good time. And now, could I introduce, for the very first time, we've seen your photo in the papers. I've had the pleasure of meeting you a number of times. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a big Christchurch and Canterbury welcome for Lisa's mum, Jean Gibbons. Great to have you with us, Jean. She loves this stuff. Oh, She's out can... of control. She's you... out of control. We know where those looks came from now. Jean, it's great to have you with us. You enjoying your time here? Yes, very much. Very much. I Excellent. just love it. I may never go home. Jean is looking well, we for an here. agent, by the way. If anyone's interested in representing this woman, she'll be doing commercial work. And, absolutely, uh... absolutely, absolutely. Jean, you have some pages for us. Yes, I do. I have one from Jessica Brady, a young lady that came up to me at the mall and gave me $10. Thanks, Jessica. And flowers. She gave and me some flowers. flowers. Also gave me flowers. And now, can I also introduce a man whose name, if you've been watching television, Coronation Street for the last, what, 20 years, I think. It would be around about 20 years. 12, 12 years, I beg your pardon. The name will be, need no introduction at all. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Coronation Street, the producer, Bill Podmore. Hey! Yeah. Actually, Bill, I guess you're Chris's boss, aren't you? I'm, I'm his boss, yeah. yeah. How's he the boy been going so far? He treats me very well. Yes. <laughs> Phil, you have some papers for us. I have some papers. Uh, the family and friends have got to my uh, ten-pin bowling tournament. Uh, Garden City Bowling Centre, Christchurch, $200. Great, thank you very much. That goes in there. And there's one here from Matthew Tritt and Daniel May. And they have denoted $6. Matthew and Daniel would like to thank everyone who supported them on their work walkathon. Thank you. Well, that, now, I've, I've got a couple as well. well. I can say that the only reason that I'm here is just because uh, Bill Pogmore wanted to come and have a, have a trip in New Zealand to see what, <laughs> see what it's like. <laughs> anyway, listen, I've got uh, $135 from Paul Court Quarterly and Glenn Kosa, so uh, thanks very much for that. And I've got another one for $5 from uh, somebody called Hibbs, and uh, it's uh, Ken and uh, also Lisa, and there's a kiss for you from me. Uh, mwah, 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 mwah. Oh, oh. Thank you very much, Chris. <laughs> we have a uh, pledge here from... Look, I tell you what, this is ready for you, Lisa. Anne McCarthy has $5 for telephone. If you will say happy birthday to her. Anne McCarthy, happy birthday. We'll sing it. We'll, uh, we'll send you a cake. We'll even get Ken to dance on the tabletops. This is great. Thanks very much. Th yes, certainly. We'll get around to that. Look, Lisa. how I've been uh, just giving your time away. You, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I have in my hands here... Oh, telephone, it's, it's a... It's a it's a hang of a program, this is a rotten job, but someone's got to do it. But all of these people want me to kiss you, Lisa. These are pledges for you to kiss me. me. To now, let me check this out. Wait a minute. Lisa, my trust mother, me, my trust mother, me, they are pledges for me to me. kiss you. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Well, now, some of them say other things. Lisa, I mean, I've been, I, have, I promised the guys at work I would do this. All right. Have we got an I mean, We have a lot of pledges for me to kiss you. Do we get a drum roll or anything? I mean, do we need a drum roll? Do you... something happen? Could we have candlelight or mood music at least? Candlelight, mood music? 
When I'm around, we don't need to use music. I'm just going to do the show now. You must be going to do the show now. Pucker up, babe, because it's happening. You ready? Ready. First set. Embrace. Right. Are you ready for this? Here we go. phone number to call. Unfortunately, we, we, we're showing an incorrect number. We're sorry. There's nothing we can do about it at the moment, but if you're in Fairley and you want to call uh, the Fairley number to make your pitch, the number is 8500. 8500, not the number that you'll see crawl across the bottom of the screen occasionally. So the uh, uh, correct number is 8500 if you're living in Fairley. Okay, let's go uh, down the line and just uh, check a few more pages here. This is from Chris and Amanda Horn of Myraha. Oh, they want Brian. Brian, come with me. Walk, walk this way. Here we are. Chris, it's for you to read this one. All right, lovely. Um, uh, this is from uh, Amanda Horn. Uh, it's Chris Amanda Horn. It's for $10. Uh, so thank you very much. I've got another one here. This is from, uh, from somebody called uh, it's Mrs. Green. And she's going to donate $5 if I sing her a little song. Okay. You are the sunshine of my life. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I always stay around. I love you. <laughs> okay, let's go to the board. We have a brand new total for you. Let's have a look. What have we got? Roll the board. Thirty-two thousand. One hundred and ninety-six. Right, more pages here. Nana and Daniel Elliott would like these. I should read these before I start reading. Oh, and actually, uh, Nana and Daniel want us to challenge the other Elliots. Consider yourselves challenged to do the same. That's give $20. Jared Corbin has called in. He wants, wants us to say hi to him. Hi, Jared, and thanks very much for the $20. And lastly, before I toss it, Eleanor and Amy have sent in $10 with love to their moms. And with love to my mom, take it away, Mean Jean, the dancing machine. Yeah. <laughs> OK, we have one here from Isabel Merriman of Horarata Play Center. Well done. And she <laughs> is sending $434.50 if we announce this before 9 o'clock, which we did because the children are watching. And thanks so much. And then we have uh, $10. Well, Roberta Gilbert uh, will donate ten dollars and challenges all the other Gilberts. Come on, Gilberts! <laughs> Come on here. Just, you, just before I read a pledge, am I on yet? Oh, you're on now. Just, um, just before I read a pledge, I have here uh, a crystal uh, tankard that's going to auction. It's very special. It was a limited edition, made especially to celebrate 25 years of Coronation Street. There's a little etching of the street here, and it's all that's done out. So that's going to the auction table for later. Right now. Hogan Mark, or Mark Hogan, of 159 Harewood Road, Papua Nui, Papua Nui, something like that. Father, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, ten, ten dollars, pledges all other four-year-olds to do the same. Well done, my son. That's brilliant. I've got a good one. I've got a really good one here, actually. It's from uh, Nicholas Morris. Nicola, Nicholas Morris, and he's only four years old. And what he's done, a little devil, is <laughs> he's raffled off his teddy bear and he's raised fifteen dollars. So Nicholas, thank you very much. It's brilliant. Got another one here from Craig Brown, and uh, they've uh, donated uh, five dollars. And thanks very much. Thank you very much, Chris. Right, Liz Grant has something special lined up for us, I think, Liz. Sure have, Ken. We've got a couple of really good friends here. We've got Paul Young and his friend Nikki. Nikki is a poodle, and they've been skateboarding right round the St Martin's Mall. And how much did you raise, Paul? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. Great boy. Thanks, Ken. Back to you. Thank you very much. Lisa, I've got a couple of special ones here. I wondered about that name there. I wonder if that's... Oh, can't my be. goodness. Paul 
Hogan has been watching the show, ladies and gentlemen, and frankly, Paul wants me to kiss the wizard. And he's... Um, well, he's you know, of course, it's not the same Paul Hogan. You don't think so? No. Here, no. here's the wizard. Now. But it's certainly worth fifty dollars. Well, we better get the wizard on. Wizard, wizard where are you? I'm, I'm feeling amorous. You're who, wizard? Oh, if he knew what was in store for me, he wouldn't be dawdling, would he? Wiz! Yoo-hoo! This way! Yeah. 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 Survived that reasonably well, actually. Whoops. Sorry, Key. We'll come back to you in just a moment. We're about to uh, take one of our little trips around the country and see what kind of uh, fun they're having. And uh, we'll be heading up towards Hamilton in just a moment. I mentioned the number of Fairley. The number to call in Fairley is not the number we're showing on the screen, but the number is 8500. Now, let's go up to Hamilton. Welcome back to um, the Hamilton. It's lovely to have you here. At this stage, as you can see, they're not making them as they used to, but that's the way it goes with the old, um, excuse me just a moment again. Right, I've had enough. He's very friendly, really, quite frankly. At this stage, uh, Max Gale, who's uh, really proving to be a sensational hit, as is Angela, are with us this, at this stage with something extremely parochial. Angela. We have a very special guest here this evening. Of course, everybody in Hamilton knows this person very, very well indeed. Oh, I'm sorry. This is not our upstage you, Max, but the very special guest in Hamilton has always got to be Muru. Now, Max is actually wearing the right colours. He got presented for them, especially, and I'm sure Muru approves. Yes, you know, they told me if I came down, they had some com a special kind of companionship for me. It's like nothing I'd ever experienced, and, and they're right about that. And we won't ask him how companionable they've been. Not at a quarter to nine on a Saturday evening, will we? But apart from that, we are going to go back to John because there's all sorts of things happening up there. New title. Yes, we do, folks. Here it is. It's coming over now. Here we go. 45,100. Thank you very much indeed. Take it away, Tommy Shelton. Get out of that bed and wash your face and hate. Get out of that bed and wash your face and hate. Roll my breakfast slow, I'm hungry, man. Oh, 
from all over the world on Air New Zealand to be with us. In Auckland, from LA Law, Blair Underwood, Hooperman's Alex Elias, Golden Girl Estelle Getty, and Late Late Breakfaster Mike Smith. In Hamilton, from Barney Miller, Max Gale, Sons and Daughters Kim Lewis and Antonia Murphy. In Palmerston North, East Enders Susan Tully and Letitia Dean. In Wellington, Heidi Heyer, Sue Pollard. In Christchurch, Coronation Street's Chris Quinton and Entertainment This Week host Lisa Gibbons. In Dunedin, from Coronation Street, Helen Worth and Sons and Daughters Ian Rawlings and in Invercargill from Flying Doctors, Pat Everson. Great stars on a great telethon. They've all flown here on your airline to telethon Air New Zealand. Right. Oh, hi. I knew you were out there somewhere. Look, we have... Where did, where did Chris go? Where did Chris... Oh, hi, Chris. Would you like to come down here? Would you? We're waiting for you. Come along here, Chris. What? Well, come down to you. We'd like you to come up here, please. Really? Now, do you want to give him the bad news, Lisa? Well, the bad news is... Or well, the good news, if I don't know. I hope they're not going to get me to do anything naughty here. Well, well naughty Chris, you're just so well qualified for acts it? of naughty it? that really? it seems appropriate. Well, there's some people who seem to <clears throat> have some sort of obsession with a part of your anatomy. It's really? a part we can we... show here on television. <laughs> it's, I don't think we should talk about a little thing like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're quite safe, folks. You're quite safe. All right, what have we got here? We have $5 from Rachel Oliver. I think this is on behalf of all the, uh, some of the Ackland girls. It's only 5 bucks, but I think we're going to do this one anyway. Uh, this is if Chris will show his <clears throat> chest. Now, since this is the first unveiling of the, of the fabulous... Christopher Quentin chest. I think we better do this in style. Are we ready? No. Oh, here we go. Come on. If you want to see more, you've got to pledge more money. <laughs> That's the way it goes. That's what Telephone is all about. I don't think you have any need for this anymore, Chris. We'll just donate this. <laughs> It'll go to a whip, of course. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. We have some more pledges. We're, we're, we're getting really back into some, some heavy <laughs> kissing stuff here, I think. Oh. Never mind. Let's go and find out what. You can have your jacket back. Oh, shopping for the and <laughs> let's. Actually, we'll, we'll tell you the story about our little shopping expedition later on. Meantime, let's go and see what uh, Alistair's all about. Oh, 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 sorry. Uh, in the weekend, I play them. <laughs> and get the uh, neighbours to swing from them. Oh, here's on the chest. Oh, well, anyway, over here, I've got uh, Shane and Matthew. Um, they, um, on, on one condition, they'll hand over the money if uh, they, they get a kiss each from Lisa. I hope Lisa's over there somewhere. She'll be making uh -oh. a uh, camera. Uh oh. Oh, no. Uh, but what was your, what, how did you raise the money? Um, well, I had telling jokes to people in Limwood City and went up to McDonald's and all that. And how much did you raise? Two hundred and nine dollars. Two hundred and nine dollars. Yes. Okay. All right. Here's your big opportunity, Lisa. Lisa, you have to come here. Okay. Stand up, boys. This is Hi, your you moment. Big boy. I hope you got your videotape machines rolling at home, chaps. Okay. Right. Are you ready? On your microphone. Oh dear. Sorry, I didn't hear it. But hold on. Got the now check what, here. What, what am I getting into here? What's the story here? Well, you have Very to. You have to. Admit. They are. You have to kiss this chap on both sides of the cheek, and he's going to give you a check for $209. Well, not you, but... Chris, I just want to notice, if Chris is taking note here, two cheek kisses is getting $200. You got five for your chest. Come on, people. Let's pledge more for more of Chris's body, huh? All right. Are you ready? Okay. 
All right, come on. Oh, what's your name? Shane. Shane. Okay, Shane. Shane, we don't even know each other, but I'm sure this will be a meaningful relationship. <laughs> okay, and... Yeah, oh, and the chip... Thank you. I'll make sure it gets to the right place. Jolly good. Okay, um, what are we going to do now? Do Doesn't think... this guy even get a handshake? Oh, oh, sorry about that. Stand up. Uh, do you get a kiss as well? Don't you? Aren't you part of the deal? Remember, package yourself as part of these deals. All of the people in Hollywood do that. Yeah. What, 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 I was going to ask him what would he like, but how about just a couple of kisses? Would you mind that? No? Okay, thanks. Okay, well, um, we have to go over to Chris, because he's got something organized over there. Take it away, Chris. Okay, what do I have to do now? You've had, you've had the chest, now what do you want? <laughs> Have I, got to, have I got to do something else here, dearest? Where's my little angel over there? Lisa, what do I have to do? Oh, oh. You've had the chest. Well, do I have to show anything else here? Basically, what we wanted was more money for you to show more anatomy. Right? Yeah. And, and did we raise uh, any money? For me well, to I do think that? we could wait for some more calls to come in. Don't you folks think we should wait to get the total up to $500, is what I think, before we show any more? Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and slip into something cool, all right? And if you want to see the rest of it, give us your money, okay? <laughs> see you later. <laughs> Chris, it's time now for some more entertainment. Welcome back. And now let's uh, see what Rodney Bryant is up to. Rodney's out with our uh, mobile camera. He's down at Reuben Blades. Let's see what Rodney has for us. Hi, Ken. Hi, everybody. Look, just before we go any further, don't want to forget uh, my old mate Brian Allpress and Peter Llewellyn. I'm bringing something back for you, too. Don't worry. Plenty of hair. Reuben Bates, corner of High Street, Litchfield Street and Manchester Street. They've been working for 36 hours already doing haircuts. Everything that they've taken goes towards telethon. I've dropped my feather. I'm worried about that. And they, they, these people are almost sort of uh, combed out down here. And I'm just getting a wee bit of a teasy up here before we go on to something more exciting uh, and a little more relaxing. But in spite of all that's going on in here, there's even more going on outside. And I want you to, I'll show you this. Come with me. Come, come team. Come, follow, follow. Look, there we are still on, look, that's us there. See, ya. look, there you are. Look, look right round. There we are. Here we go. That, don't go away, Ken. We're coming. I'm just going to put the telly down. Just there. Now look, look at this, Ken. Oh, oh my God! Look. Oh. Oh. Now, that out there is Perfect Strangers, the Excelsior Hotel. And they're playing. And the girls on the catwalk are modelling clothes that have been donated to Telethon Two. People in the pub are coming out. They're having a ball. It's a great deal of fun down here. If you want your hair cut, Ruben Blades is open until 12 o'clock tonight. Come down. All money to Telethon. It proves nothing else, Ken. Oh. Proves that Canada is a cut above the rest, doesn't it? Good Canterbury colours there, Rodney. And back here in the town hall, we've got a couple of girls who've been very enterprising. They've been making toffee apples and fudge. How much have you raised? 116. dollars And you've got more to sell? Yeah. So come on around the town hall. There's more toffee apples and fudge. Well done, girls. And another group of girls here. Let's have a look at the card. They're a group of embarrassed girls. Why were you embarrassed? Because they walked from Reclass to um, Villiers and rubbish bags. <laughs> and very fetching they look too. And how you, they managed to raise $271. Well done, girls. And moving on here, some produce. What have we got? We've got Justin, Sharon, Leslie, Wendy, Dave, Mike, and Kerry from the Wilmers Road Meadow, uh, Meadow Mushrooms. How much have you raised? Just on a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars, isn't that wonderful? Big cheer! That's terrific. Yeah, to auction off four boxes, and the rest that are in the bags are to be used up here to be cooked up and eaten for the staff. Oh, and that, that's really kind. Thanks very much, and well done. Can I have your card, please? What have we got here? We've got Rick Stack and his friends have pushed a wheelbarrow full of vegetables from Rakaia to Christchurch. <laughs> How much have you raised? Sorry? How much have you raised? Uh, approximately $100. Oh, I think that's a tremendous effort. Have you got sore feet? Yeah, very. But well done. And moving on, moving on. Ronald John Neal. And what have you been doing and how much money have you raised, Ronald? 
I've, be, I've been doing a willathon from Laura Ferguson to the town hall. That's a terrific evidence. How much time did it take you? I left at nine o'clock this morning and I got into town at 20 past 11. That is a terrific effort. It's absolutely wonderful. Big cheer here for Ronald. Marvellous, marvellous. Thank you, Liz. Time for some more entertainment now, and uh, let's have a little rock and roll, maybe a little dancing even. This is Gary Hubbard, and this is the heart of rock and roll. Place I'd rather be. Where else can you do a half a million things? All at a quarter to three. In music, real rock music, talking with a lot of style. We're still that same old back street rhythm that really, really drives you wild. They say the heart of rock and roll is a beat. The heart of rock and roll. Thank you very much, Gary. Thanks for all our energetic dancers, too. I'd like to introduce a couple of uh, new members, well, a new member of our panel now, who, uh, well, over successive telethons, I think, needs no introduction. Joe Hussey. Joe, it's great to have you with us again. Joe is from the Deaf Association, and Joe will help us sign some pledges. In fact, Joe, possibly if Jean would like to read a pledge, you could uh, sign one for us. Okay, this is a hundred hundred dollars from the Hammer Springs Forest Camp Trust Incorporated. Thanks to them and the Peter Stewart and family have donated one hundred dollars. Thanks to the Stewart family. Nathan Woods has donated thirty-seven dollars and he says he hadn't spoken to another person for nineteen hours. Um, Marriott in Sweden. $20. Hopes we can make 20 times more than last year. Thanks. Jean and Joe, thank you. Bill. We have one here. Scott Newman of 96 uh, Papua New Road, Merivale, pledging $5. Lisa Gibbons to kiss Frank Flash. Whoever Frank Flash is. Greg Littleton, 33 Banks Avenue, Shirley, is pledging $25 and challenges everybody else throughout New Zealand that works for BP to do the same. Yeah,
to you. Thank you very much, Bill. And someone, again, who needs no introduction, we're very proud to have with us on telephone, currently runner-up to Miss New Zealand, a former right. Miss Canterbury, Philippa Hanson. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a big round of applause for our very own Philippa Hanson? Hey. Welcome. Thank you. How about reading some pages for us? A donation from five-year-old Emma Wilkins of five dollars and she's from 49 Rosborne Street. A donation from Michelle Rester of ten dollars from 58 Philpotts Road. And Rachel Cook, a donation of twenty-four dollars and she's from Clyde Road. Also from the Southern Cross Engineering Co, a donation of fifty dollars. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Philippa. Okay, I think Michelle Accord has something special uh, lined up for us now. Michelle. Hi, uh, we're talking here to Ruth Anderson. You've raised uh, over a stone in coins. How long did it take you to collect? It's actually, it's actually the change out of my purse for the last year. Oh, that's marvellous. And how much, how much do you think you've raised? It's a stone. Oh, magnificent. Well, lots of money. Give her a clap. And we're talking to... We're talking to Trish, Trish Barnett from the Queen's Park District Girl Guides and they've made a coin trail. Tell us about it, Trish. Well, we started last Saturday on a pack holiday and uh, the Pippins, Brownies, Girl Guides and the Rangers put it into a coin trail and then my, my two daughters and myself put it onto the board and I've also got some in the bag. But I'm... How much is that? $35.35. Oh, that's marvellous. Can we have a look at the coin trail here? Isn't that wonderful? Can we see that? Okay. But I'm not allowed to hand it over until I get a big kiss from you. Okay. <laughs> Michelle. Thanks, Peter. That looks great. Hey, now down here I've got two people who are waiting very patiently. Now you're Susan. Yes. And you're Joanna. They haven't changed their names since they came in, isn't it great? Now what have you got here? Oh, oh, we've um, got a pinata that we made um, during our ranger night. And meeting. can you make those? Oh, just with paper mache. And what's inside them? Um, lollies and a few toys. And what do you want to do with them? You want to have them auctioned, right? Yeah, we want to have them auctioned off and the proceeds are going to telephone. Okay, great. Well, we'll sort that out. And right now we're going over to Alistair. Hmm. Oh, cool. Oh, <laughs> hello there. Got uh, three guys here. They've raised some money. How much was it all told? Oh, approximately $160. And how did you raise it? Why, why, why did you raise it? Oh, we pushed, we pushed each other around in a wheelbarrow. I see. And uh, in order to hand the money over, what does Chris have to do? Chris has to do a cartwheel. Chris has to do a cartwheel. A cartwheel from Coronation Street. Well, OK. Um, we'll see if we can sort that out. Clear some space, please. Chris is about to um, do something. I'll do cartwheels. If you want to see it better, you've got to pay more money. But this is a quick cartwheel. Over to Ken. neighborhood trust let's go to our board and see we have a new total here it is let's have a look Music. roll the board and 75,000 Well, we haven't seen the wizard in quite a while. Yes, there he is now. Peter, the wizard. Hi. And here we have two young ladies from Drexel's... Three, three, sorry. Three young ladies from Drexel's of Hereford Street. They're having a breakfast-a-thon. 
This is the sumptuous fare that uh, Jack the Wiz is eating here. It, I'm enjoying it very much. Yes, and it's, it's going to be passed around to some of the phone operators. However, at the moment, the phone operators are very, very quiet. So all of you who aren't working, would you stand up, please? Can you all stand up if, you're not got, if you've not got a call? Now, th we want to change all this. We want to get these people working and busy, and we want to do it now. So if you can phone in while I talk to these ladies about the wonderful breakfast, it would be really nice if you could get them ringing up. So fill the phone lines. Now, your, um, your breakfast arrangement, uh, you, the boss has put all this on, right? And so there's going to be a sort of a, a what, is it, is it free? Or do you, people pay for it? Tell us about it. Oh, yeah, they pay for it. Oh, right, and all the money goes to Telethon. All the money. Yeah. So, and all you've got to do is turn up to 106 Hereford Street and do this and it's fabulous. Is that right? All right, how are we doing with the phones? I'll do a spell on the phones, right? Now, all you people that have not got a call, please stand up. All you telephone operators with no phone ringing. Who hasn't got a call? One there anymore? Another one there? Anyone else? We don't need a spell. I'll save it for later. Thank you very much, everyone. You're doing so well. Thank you. You're all ringing nicely. Wonderful. And back to you, Ken. Ken, any minute now. Oh, hi. Yes, time to uh, acknowledge some more very kind additions. Here's one all the way from Cheviot. It's from Kate and Ryan Harris, who've donated $10 to Telephone. Joe? Thank you, Joe. Lee Bauer of Linwood would like to donate $100 to Telephone. They want to speak to Lisa. Well, Lisa's not with us right at the moment, but uh, we have a number of requests for Lisa and for Christopher to do. What about Sissy? Oh, there you are. I didn't re you changed on us. Would you just say a very good evening to Lee Bauer? Lisa. From Linwood. This is great, $100. Thanks for watching the telethon. Thanks for calling in. And um, listen, we've got Ken here, and Peter, and the wizard, and Chris. And if you want anybody to do anything, those guys, that is, give us a call, and we'd love to hear from you. And thanks a bunch for your donations. We're going to put this in, make sure it gets to the right Thank place. You, thanks. Thank you very much. By the way, we mentioned, folks, uh, we had a problem with our phone number for Fairley. If you'd like to look just down here now, you'll see the phone number for Fairley. Can you see that? There it is. Thank you. Yes. Oh, it, that. Well done, Kim. Have you thought of doing this professionally? <laughs> 8,500. That's the new number for Fairley. We're sorry we had that wrong before. Okay, uh, Jean, do you have uh, some pledges for us? Yes, I do. I have a pledge from uh, a couple that has six grandchildren. They're on a pension. They pledge $60, and they challenge all grandparents to do their share and pledge $60 also. So let's hear those. We also have. $700 from Casebrook Intermediate School Council from a mini fair. Thanks so much. And Bill. We have one here from Kelly Gardner, who is sending a happy birthday to Stephen Wilford and Madeleine MacArthur on their 13th birthday, and they pledge $3.50. We have here RG SA White Contractors, Christchurch, who have pledged $20 and they challenge all of the drivers to do the same. Over to you, Madam. Thank you. Yes, I have a pledge from Fiona Bell, who's from Diamond Harbour. She has pledged $10, and she won Division 5 in the lotto, donating $10, and challenged all other lotto winners to donate some money. Thank you very much. Also from Plaster Linings of Shortland Street, staff and management of Plaster Linings Challenge Wardrops, which is the rival company, to do the same. They have pledged $95. Thank you. And that's all. Someone just asked me if I'm happy. I'm delirious with joy. As a matter of Thank you very much, Philippa. You're actually also managing the talk of the town, too, I understand. Yes, that's right. Yes, I've got, I've got my badge on tonight. You have your talk of the town badge. Yes, Thank I you. do. Some more pledges. This is from the Brasserie Rivi, the, back over there, the Brasserie uh, Restaurant in Durham Street. $100 for telephone. They would love for Lisa to come on down for some complimentary coffee and gatto. Well, I doubt that Lisa will have the time over the next 24 hours, but I'm sure the first chance she has, she will be down. The St. James Girl Guides of Sydenham have raised $60 for a disabled, have I got that right, a disabled a farm. I'm not quite sure how you did that, but thank you very much for your $60. The Wilson family of Selwyn Street in Christchurch, $10.
they will donate it if the Williams family from next door will do the same. Now, that's laying it right on the line. So that's from uh, the, uh, is it the Wilson or the Pilsen family of 97A Selwyn Street? And they'd like $10 from the Williams family next door. Renee Williams, is it? We're getting into the Williams today, aren't we? $10 if Lisa will sing a song on the radio. Lisa is just busy with something else at the moment, but I assure you, you will hear Lisa sing before the night is over. 30 seconds, Ken. And now, Jean, have you got something for us? Yes, from Grace and Jack McGinnis, $100, wonderful telephone, they say. And it is. Uh, the staff at Glean Clean, $20. They check. They challenge all other groomers to match or better that $20. Are we going to mean that? Yeah, we have one here from the Uniflex Packing Company Limited. Thank you. A pledge of five hundred dollars. Sorry, Bill. I just must interrupt. Right okay. Good evening, New Zealand. Welcome to Christchurch, and welcome to Christopher Quinton and Lisa Gibbons. Good evening, New Zealand. How are you? <laughs> Right, you've missed all the fun. I'm afraid you've missed me doing all my acrobatics. But what we've done here, we've brought... And a strip. Wait a minute. And a strip. Oh, yes, you've missed the strip as well. Well, it was a modified strip. Yeah, what we've done, we sort of, they've pledged the money, some money just to see the chest. So they've had the chest, but uh, we're hoping the rest will come off later. We are? Well, I, I am. I'm bowling <laughs> here. What we've done, we've got a couple of guys here on the BMX. Actually, guys, you're a bit big for these bikes, aren't you? How old are you? I'm 19. You're 19. How old are you? 18. 18. I mean, I've always wanted to actually sit in one of these bikes, Lisa. What about you? How old am I or what? No, I know how old you are. Have you, ever, have you ever ever wanted to sit in one of these bikes? I've always wanted to give it a go, but I know these guys can do some incredible tricks. Okay, well, you sit on that one and have a quick ride. And let me just sit in this one a minute. You sit on that one a second. Let's okay. look. I've always wondered. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I've always actually wondered how these guys actually stir on these bikes because, I mean, it, God, this, this, is your seat uncomfortable? Well, it doesn't feel great, let me tell you that. <laughs> anyway, what we're going to do, right? <laughs> We don't really want to sort of embarrass ourselves and show you how these bikes work, but I think what we're going to do, Lisa, is show these guys. What do you think? What do you think we should do? I think we should let the uh, impromptu trick team do some riding around. Okay. New Zealand, please give a big warm welcome for the impromptu trick team. Come on, boys! <laughs>
out. We'll stop. Okay, welcome back. Just taking time out here. Welcome back. And let's see what Alistair has for us. Hey, look, uh, we've got some people here from the toy warehouse. They've, they're donating this teddy bear, this huge teddy bear valued at about $400 to be auctioned off in the auction. And they challenge all toy warehouses to do the same. Thanks very much, guys. Moving right along. Oh, boy. Now, the staff at Bankprint have uh, donated a cheque, not this big one, but a real one here of uh, over $1,500. That's pretty amazing. This is amazing, too. Um, Greg Jansen, is that you, Greg? Yep. Well, and his friends, they cycle from Blenheim to Christchurch in less than 24 hours, and they raised $2,000. Wow! Do you want to one request that Lisa just um, kisses this guy here? Okay, one request granted, okay? <laughs> Whoa! Wait, wait a minute. Just, just, a, just a quick pick. I mean, I've got a. I've gone through an entire tube of lipstick so far. I'll, um, I'll chaperone. Okay, you chaperone. <laughs> this is getting to be a real habit. How old are you? 17. Old enough. Go for it. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. Well, I'm going to have to take a break now. Yeah, here's Thanks. your drink. You'll need the drink. It's lemonade. Uh, okay, moving right along. G'day, how you doing? Okay. Um, Keith Walken from um, the New Zealand Army and New Life. There's a whole lot of guys pushed you, is that right? Friends, no, uh, uh, in a wheelchair from Belfast to the Town Hall. And you raised 1,000 bucks. Pretty good. 1,000 bucks. It's, uh, 851 dollars. In here. In there alone. And the whole lot of coins being counted. Coins being counted right now as we speak. Well, even as we speak, Tony Palmer is over there getting ready with something pretty amazing too. Take it away, Tony. Center, and this is the telephone number, double six four seven one six, and we have got lots and lots of things. You may have heard already about this 25-year anniversary tankard for Coronation Street. Well, we had a bit of 20 pounds. We've had another one of $100 already. That's just part of what we got here. We've got a rugby ball signed by the uh, All Black team and the Welsh team. And that's about how big it looks in Buck Shelford's hand with a real-size football. It's not full-size, but it's got all the signatures on it. We've got an elf telephone. It's real, it works. Somebody's actually ringing us on it at the moment. That's the number. You've got to remember. Double six four seven one six. We've got this wonderful character here. Robin Nuttall and I will be answering the telephones. And Robin, what else have we got on the list? Oh, we also have three pinatas. Uh, they're full of all sorts of things when you break them open. They were made by the Woodham Rangers, as we heard before. Hey, also, don't, don't forget this too. This is a first day cover for the Antarctica for philatelists or stamp collectors. If you want one of those, they're pretty rare. There they're are going to be three of those, so we're going to have to get a high price. And, and star lifters. Um, so and they'll be thrown back again. You can bid for just about anything. Somebody already bid for Lisa's jacket. Now, I don't think that's for sale, but the bid was pretty high, and I guess if we got high enough, we'd be able to buy her a replacement one. So you can bid for anything that's here and more. Ring that telephone number, 664716. Back to you, Ken. Back to Ken. That's Tony Palmer and Robin Nuttall. Okay, some more purchases now. We have one from, I mentioned before, uh, Margaret Moon, I think her name was, had been kidnapped by the Paynes in Action people. Well, we have $300 here from John Buckfield of Paynes in Action. Thank you very much, John Buckfield. From Leaston, the Leaston Garden Club are challenging all other garden clubs to match their $30 donation to Telethon. Thank you very much to all the folks in Leaston and the gardens. Jean. Okay, from the Town and Country Art Group, $42. Okay, being acted it. From Sue Skinner, 15 Glovers on Halswell. Challenge Murray King of Richmond to do what she's done, and that is to place $20. Thank you, Mario. From the IHC Art Group, there's a donation of $20 and they've all pitched in at IHC on Kelly's Road, Mariha to raise some money. Thank you very much. Also, from Slom, Smitty and Mutz of Grinwa have raised $102.50 by a bike-a-thon at QE2. One more, Chrissy Partridge of The Faux Place has raised $2. Thank you very much. Over to Ken. Thank you very much, Philippa. OK, it's time to meet. I don't think we've actually met him tonight. He looks so dapper. How about a big round of applause for our very own, from Fast Forward, Peter Llewellyn. Thank you, Van. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right, now, I've got a group of bikers here. They're a bit of a worry. 
This gentleman is called Glenn Soul, right? And these guys, ten of them, they cycled from Timaru, uh, 100 miles in seven and a half hours. I'll ask yep. the lady and they raised 1,000, no, 1,000, no hundred, no tens, six, thirty. Thousand and six dollars thirty cents by oh. riding all that way. And I worked out that they would have had to push their wheels round 64,000 times. I want this guy to stand up and I want to show you his thighs. Go on, stand up. He's got the most massive thighs in the world. Trip it, there's ten of them. Big round of applause. Now, there's a couple of other loonies here. This guy's called Glenn and all, Glenn Brown. And he's, uh, he, they pushed an FJ Holden all the way from Wood End, wasn't it? Wood End, yeah. How far's that? Uh, about 18 miles. Didn't it go? No. Not very good <laughs> advert for Holden, really. But I'd like this guy to stand up and show you the FJ Holden on his chest. Big, strong bloke, 20 of them pushed them all the way. Right then. And there's one last lady I'd love you to see, because she's been waiting a long time. And there's this lady, Celia Caldwell here, who walked round with a bucket, round the pubs in town, and picked up a big bucket of money. Big round of applause for Celia, please. OK, back to you, Ken. Thank you very much, Peter. I, I can... I know there are, there are Cockneys and, and uh, Londoners just loving that accent at home now. OK, Lisa, we've got something uh, from Rebecca Thompson here. Rebecca's got a $2 pledge for telephone if Lisa will do a backspin. Can you handle a backspin? No. Chris handle, what do you reckon? I knew it was coming. It's early in the night. It's not even 10 o'clock. The bizarre requests have started coming in. Chris, you started it by doing that stuff. Most of, most people can't do that kind of thing. I mean, I know, but uh, well, I can, and uh, but you can't. <laughs> <laughs> she can't. She can't even do a front spin, never mind a back spin. Back, yeah, right. But how much is it worth? How much is it worth? Two dollars. Two yep. dollars. Yep. You're an expensive lady. All right. New dollars fast. Do you want a hand? Yeah. Okay. I think you better back up for this, and I think everyone ought to get. Excuse. Out of the way, I'm going to have to get you on the floor, though. Do you, mind, do, you, do you mind if I get her on the floor? Come on, do it. You've got to do it now. I want to see you on that floor. You've got to put your legs out high. Hang on a minute. I've got a script to You bust you back for two whole dollars. Yeah, I know. That's great. <laughs> Thank you, and that just goes to show we'll do anything. <laughs> okay, Ken. Thank it's you. all it's all yours, Ken. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Thank you. Yes, that was worth two dollars. Excellent. Thank you. We'll do anything for telephone. We've got a new total. Let's have a look at our board and see what that total is. How about that? Eighty-nine thousand three hundred and twenty dollars. Okay, we're well and truly on the way with Telethon 88. Now, more entertainment for you. Do you remember the name, the Nicotini Brass? Does that ring any bells? Well, this is what they sound like. Let's have a big round of applause for the Nicotini Brass. We'll 
going to try and do the haka here, which is not going to be very easy. But Michelle and I are going to be taught by these wonderful specimens from the Christchurch Boys High School. And they're going to teach us the haka, and then I believe we're going to try and teach Lisa. So I'm going to have to pass this microphone to somebody, and then we're going to let these wonderful gentlemen teach us how to do it. bad either. <laughs> okay, and now to Ken. Thank you very much, Peter. Now let's go outside and let's see what Roddy Bryant is up to out of Ruben Blades. No. No. We know. No, we are not going down to see what Roddy Bryant is doing. No. What, what, we'll work out what we're going to do in just a moment. Mr. and Mrs. Della Bosco of South Terrace and Darfield. They've got $20 here. Lisa, of course, just recovering from her haka. Otherwise, she would have read that out for you. And Lisa Grant, it's so nice. Would you like some purchase this? So nice to see you up here on the panel. Thank you. Here we got some, oh, some uh, jolly. Just jolly, just plain happy here from Arari Street. Um, yep. Is going to pledge $40. But she would like um, Michelle Westwood to kiss Chris Quentin, but we don't know where Michelle Westwood is. And um, back to Ken. Back to Ken, well, or even more. Back to Ken. Ah, it's over here, actually. Over this way, I'd like to introduce Jamie Tullock. Now, Jamie, welcome along to Telethon. Hi, is this your first time? I think it might be, isn't it? For Telethon. For Telethon. Yes, it, is. it is. Welcome to the panel. You're well known in Christchurch, of course, for your entrepreneurial ideas. The tower, well, we, that didn't quite work, the, the original plan, but who knows, maybe we'll see that tower one day. It's on the middle burner. The middle burner. <laughs> Jamie, you have some uh, pledges for us. We care to read I them? have. Thank you. All right, the first one is from the burger station of Hills Road, who's donating 20 cents for every burger sold tonight. And it challenges the Aranui Burger Bar and Tonto's of Rickerton Road to do the same. Another one from Charlotte Bedford, $5, 44 McDougall Avenue. Charlotte's dad will pledge $50 if Charlotte pledged $5. Kirsten McWiggan of Avonhead, $5. Challenges all her school friends at Avon, Avonhead Primary to do it or better it. Thank you, Jamie. Let's move along just one. We, again, a man who needs absolutely no introduction at all. Put him up, Slugger. Kevin Barry, ladies and gentlemen. Nice big round of applause. 1984 silver medalist. Great to have you with us. Thanks, Ken. Nice Great to have you here. Here. Some pledges, Kevin. Right. Claire Freely has uh, donated $20, and um, this is only if Christopher Quentin will say goodnight to him. The Slay family of Kaiapoi, they have given $10, and they challenge all St. Pat Patrick's School children to do the same. Anne Jury, from the Old Girls High School, has donated $10. Did a waltz with a broom outside the town hall. That's not a bad effort. And Kevin, I, I wonder whether you should do the introductions here for us, actually, because this is rather special. I don't think we've had quite this combination on our panel for some time, have we? Well, true, Ken. This is a uh, rather special lady, especially to me. Uh, it's Tanya Moss. I don't think she needs any introduction either. Very well-known New Zealand Olympic gymnast. But there is something special, though, isn't there? Now, come on, you are hiding your light under a bushel here, Kevin. <laughs> yes, uh, Tanya is my fiancée, and we're to be married in April next year. And it's How about that? <laughs> and we're all invited to the wedding? Yeah, everyone's invited. <laughs> Excellent. 
Tanya, welcome to Telephone. Would you care to read some pages for us? Right, I've got one here from Papanui Primary School. They had a disco at Friday lunchtime and raised 9170. And I've got one here from Donna Allen. And it's Happy Birthday, Donna, from Mum, Dad, Chevy, and Robert, and Fanu. And they donated $10. And I've got one here from Katrina Hughes. And they'd like Chris to say hi to Katrina and Karen, Christine and Raywin from Geraldine, and to blow them a kiss. Thank you very much, Tanya. And now we finally figured out, uh, well, I'll tell you what, let's find out from Rodney Bryant exactly where he is. Rodney, where are you? I'm uh, here in the usually sombre Cathedral Square here in Christchurch, Kent, but it's a uh, rave up at the moment, as you can see. I know how Liz Grant feels now, by the way, Liz. You see, like the glasses, you can marvellous time, push bar on stage, but I want you to come over here, having a real party here in the square, with all these people, as you can see, like the bow tie, get one of those down here too, because with the temperature at 16 degrees, if you please, in the square, they're having a party, in here in the square till half past one this morning and over here somewhere that I've lost them we're having a there's as they say as they, as they say Ken we've got a heap of snow in the square and there's no business like snow business Ken oh, it's snowing in the square it's a celebration Don't forget the Lions Collection in your area on Sunday. They'll be cruising your streets from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. That's the Lions on Sunday. Watch for them. Talking to Rex and Phil and Denise, Diane, Diane and Denise down here, and they've made these lovely uh, rubber dolls at, from the house of 8 Wairaka. They want to donate them to Lisa personally. We'd really like to see her um, come down here and collect them. Uh, oh, and, and her mother, Jean, so they're absolutely gorgeous. And afterwards, they're going to bring in about 10 tomorrow to be auctioned uh, over with Tony. So if you can sort of leap over there and I'll talk to the people behind you, and we'll try and find Lisa for you. Now, what's your name? Jenny. And Jenny, you're from the Environment and Peace Information Centre, where you've been doing bubble blowing and face painting and root mural painting and the activities are going to continue on Sunday. And how much have you raised? There's just $100 here so far, but in the centre we've got a coin mosaic and people are laying on coins in a design of peaceful house, country, world, and we will you know, accumulate that tomorrow, but we're continuing the bubble blowing, cooperative game playing and um, face painting tomorrow. Oh, that's great. Now, can you tell us a little bit about what's behind us and we'll walk along and take a look at it with the camera. But just basically people have contributed their thoughts on Telesan and what they feel on peace generally. Well, there's a very, very colourful mural here, ladies and gentlemen. It's an absolutely enormous. I don't think you can get too much of it in. But uh, the kids have been painting this, and it's very beautiful. And uh, we think that perhaps we may try and find a place for it either in the foyer, or if somebody wants to uh, make a donation and to pick it up and use it, then they're more than welcome to. That'll be terrific. Okay, and back to you, Ken. Thank you. Thank you very much, Peter. You know, one of the nice things about Telethon is that you get people from all different walks of life doing strange things. For argument's sake, uh, if we follow, if you come over here with me now, you'll see a man, if you ever watch television early in the mornings and watch Play School, you would see this man over here. He doesn't know we're doing this. See this man here? This man is a regular presenter of Yes, Are You? Say no more, Russell. Say no more. Russell and I worked together back on a week of it 10 years ago. Now, of course, you're a presenter for Play School in the mornings, aren't you? Yeah, that's right. Now, Russell, usually you're cable dragging today, aren't you, for telephone? Uh, yes, I'm cable dragging for right. Jeff Clemens. Now, we've known you uh, a number of years on telephone, of course, not in the, in the condition you are now. You've usually been made up, haven't you? Um, once or twice, Ken. As yeah. count homogenized. Remember count homogenized? Yeah. This is what count homogenized looks like without the makeup. Oh. Now, you see, this year, this year for the first time, I've got you in a cold sweat yeah, now, really haven't I? Have. <laughs> this year for the first time, Russell was saying to himself, I'll bet. <laughs> Russell was saying to himself, yeah, I can do telethon and I don't have to drink any of that dumb milk, oh. right? Uh, that's right, I'm right. not. Wrong, I'm not. wrong. <laughs> Look at this, even without the makeup, can't homogenize, oh, still what? has to drink the milk. Is he going to drink the milk? Here we go. 
Here we go. Oh. Look at that. There's a dairy farmer very happy somewhere. Oh, not a pretty sight, Russell. Thank you very much. We've got a new total to go to. Thanks for the spirit of telethon there. A new total. Let's go to the board and see what it is. We roll the board. We've broken 100,000. By the way, Russell, uh, you have the Chambers family of Ricketon, the Chambers family of Ricketon, to thank uh, for that because they put us up to it. Okay, it's time to cross now for some more entertainment. Let's welcome, please, Gilbert Weiberg, ladies and gentlemen. Gilbert. I've been worried all day long. Don't know if I'm right or wrong. I can't help. Things I say, your love makes me feel this way. Why, oh, why should I feel blue? What's I used to laugh at you, but now I'm crying. No use denying, for no one else but you will do. You made me love you. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want do it. You make me love you. And all the time you knew it. I guess you always knew it. You made me happy sometimes. You made me sad. But there were times, dear, you made me feel so bad. You made me shy for I didn't want to tell you I didn't want to tell you I want some love That's true Yes, I do Indeed, I know you know I do Give me, give me What I cry for You know you got the kind of kisses I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it. You made me love you. I guess you always do it. You make me happy sometimes. You make me sad. But there were times there you made me feel so bad. You made me sigh for. I didn't want to tell you. I didn't want to tell you. That I die for and you know you made me love you and you know you made me love you Oh, Pope Pedro That's marvellous. Thank you, Gilbert. She keep her on, she could go far. Gilbert Weiberg, ladies and gentlemen. We have a, a rather special uh, note here. This is from the Chandler family of Fendleton. Their 11-year-old son, Corey Chandler, is missing at the moment. The police are looking for Corey, and uh, there's a remote possibility that Corey may be watching Telethon at the moment. Corey, if you are, would you please go home, get in touch with your parents. They want to hear from you. That's Corey Chandler. Corey uh, of uh, Kane Avenue in Fendleton is missing. The police are looking for Corey at the moment. Corey, if you are listening to this message now, would you please go home? Okay. 
Now, Liz, you have some donations and pledges for us. I certainly do. A one-year-old, Sean James, challenges all his cousins in Rangiora to donate $2 to Telethon, which is what he's donating. And Kate Mowat raised uh, $36. She's at St. Margaret's College from a shut-up-a-thon. <laughs> that was a difficult Kate. Evan Baker, he'll pledge $10 if his grandparents and family do the same. Jamie, have you some pledges for us? Yes, Dave Miller will give $5 if Lisa will, if Lisa will throw a kiss to him. And Alan Dowie will give $20 if Frank Flash would kiss Lisa Gibbons. I don't know where well, Lisa is at the moment. Tim Small, $2 if Lisa will say hello to Antoinette Baker. Jeanette McMurtry will give $5 to get Margaret Moon out of bondage. Kevin. Yes, um, I have one here from Shirley Intermediate School. Sarah Burney, Lisa Sands, Michelle Proctor and Kim Lyford, they had a cake and sweet stall and raised an incredible amount, $190. That is terrific, girls. And I have one here especially for Ken. Glenn Evert of Waltham will pledge $10 and $10 only if Ken Ellis will kiss Lisa Gibbon's mother. If I'm a what? If you will kiss Lisa Gibbon's mother. Oh, Jean's not with us right now. She's not with us? Well, we'll, we'll keep that one for later. Higher on my list of priorities. Right. Right, I've got one here from Gregory and Joseph Hendren, and they will give $5 if Lisa Gibbons would stand on her head. Tanya, thank you very much. Can we interrupt just for one moment? It's time to cross very quickly to Lisa Gibbons to see what Lisa has. Lisa. Hello, everybody. Excuse me, could we get a camera over here after all? <laughs> here we go. We've got some folks with us that we want to introduce to you who have an item that's going to be auctioned off later on, and I get to wear it. Tell me, uh, if you could tell me your names and uh, what you got. My name's Warren Edwards, and I've got a dress that um, I'd like Lisa to wear that I'm donating to Telethon that will be auctioned, and this is Gary. Hi. Hi, Gary. How are you doing? Good, thanks. You yep. guys have been standing outside. It's cold out there, isn't it? Mm, it is, yeah. We've got plenty of heat and energy going on in here. Let's take a look at the dress. Oh, wow. Woo, pretty sexy. Whoa, check it out. Woo! I'll try to do it justice. Now, what do you think a fair price for this would be? Um, well, cost to me is about $320. All right, ladies and gentlemen, good evening from Palmerston North. Let's hit it up there. Come on. Whoa. As you can tell, they're a very happy bunch over here, but before we show you our surprise package from Palmerston North. We've got a telethon within a telethon here. Let's cross over to the other side of the island, to Gisborne, where Ross has Edna. Here's Gisborne. Well, it's going to bump. See, they're trying to match you there. He says they got the whole of Palmerston in there with you there, Bob. That's a great crowd there, and I can't wait to hear more of the, uh, the Patia Maori group. But right now, I do have our Edna, Gisborne's own Edna here with me. Edna, you're looking marvellous tonight. Lovely to be here, Barry. I must say, I must say that you, you are the spitting image of another very famous person. A distant relation, Barry, a, a grandmother version of me, I would say. Is that why you have the same sort of voice? I mean... A, a defect at birth. I'll put it down to that. I'll ponder on that one, Barry. Oh, you mean you didn't have birth. any pressure on you to get that sort of voice? No. <laughs> no. You have your own designer, do you, for your beautiful clothes? Pierre Cardin face furniture. Is that right? Telethon designed. And this lovely, lovely frock was designed specially for Telethon. I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was, Edna. Before you go, you've got a little pledge there to read got for us. a darling little pledge here from two little possums. Sam and Andrew Rice from Ida Road wish to say happy birthday to their grandfather. Happy birthday, Grandad, down in Palmerston North. There you are, Grandad, just for you in Palmerston North. And that's our Edna. And before her makeup rubs off, we'd better get back to you, Bob, in Palmerston North. Well, they're having a pretty wild time in Gisborne tonight, as you can tell. But back here in Palmerston North, we have one of our most popular acts. Would you please welcome, ladies and gentlemen, the Parteo Maori Action Group with Delvanius and Rogers over there with some special guests. Kia ora. Kia ora. Nice to see you, Delvanius. I understand you've got a couple of honorary... Uh, Additions to the Pachiamari Club. Aye, aye, aye. What are we doing here? Listen, 
you East Enders. You ready for this? Yep. Ready. ready and willing. Not everybody gets to do this with the Pātea Māori Club. This is good gear. Are you ready? Yeah. In your own good time, my good friend. Kate the pipe. can help Jim. Jim. Very sexy Warren Edwards design. Thanks very much. I know it costs at least $320 to put it together. So we hope somebody will call in and pledge that amount and you can take this sexy little number home with you, okay? Back to you guys. Thank you very much, Lisa. When Lisa referred to the sexy little number, it was the dress that Lisa was referring to. Let's clear that one up. Okay, we have a $20 donation here from Rebecca Nib of Sawyer's Arms Road. If I will announce the birth of... Susan Bennett's baby last night. We have a new Athana amongst us. It's Katrina Rachel, six pounds and two ounces. Congratulations to you both. Isn't that nice? Little Katrina Rachel, six pounds, two ounces. I thank you for your $20. Chris, what have you got? Not too bad. I'm doing up well. Thank you. What have you got? I've got a, I've got a couple, actually. The first one is to, uh, is to Mr. Holden. And, uh... I have to blow a kiss to, is that Leanne? Leanne. Leanne, who she's working on the telephone. So Leanne, if you can hear me, do we have a Leanne up on the telephones anywhere? Leanne, well, well, if she's we know you're up there somewhere. If she's not there, what I'll do is I'll find her later and give her more than a big kiss. So uh, All right. she's donated $10, so that's from him. A second one is from, uh, that's one from here, who's this from? This is from Lynn, and she's donated $20, and yes. uh, thank you very much as well. That's going in the bin. Right, Jamie. Morgan family of Shirley have donated $10 and challenge other Morgan families to do the same. And the Hanson family of uh, Hornby, $20. Ask all other Hanson families to do the same also. Kevin. Yes, uh, Paula and Darren Taylor of Ashburton have pledged $20 and they would like the Hampstead Rugby Club to do the same. Uh, Rory McGuigan of Avonhead Road has also pledged $5 and he challenges all his cousins to do the same. I've got one here, it's an original one from New Brighton Crash, and they had a nappy thon and Mrs. Clark challenges all other crashes. They've raised $120. And I've got one here from Michael Tom Windscreens, and they challenge Trendy Mirrors Rickerton to do better. They've donated $20. Tanya, thank you very much. And now let's go and see what Lisa has for us. Great kids here from Methman Primary, and they've been working for Telethon. Can you tell me your name? Bobby Grace. Hi. What's your name? Michael Grace. And you are? Ted Grace. All right, now, Ted's got a bag of money back here. I want to know how you got it. 
Well, we had a copper trail at our school where we cut out cardboard letters that spelt telephone and all the kids brought money along and we got $76 here. $76, that's hard work, huh? Yep. You did a really good job, congratulations. Thank you, thanks for bringing it in. We'll make sure it gets to the right place. We're gonna, huh? It's heavy, okay. Oh, you're right, thanks. Have to work on those push-ups, I guess. Let's move right over here. Now, these girls had what I think is a great idea. Tell me your names and then I want to tell everybody what you did for telephone. Nicole. Lynette. And Rachel. From? Bella. Bella Maria. Bella Maria. All right. Now, those of you who are classmates, you know what happened. It's a great idea. What'd you do? Um, we got two of our teachers to shave off their beards, um, Mr. George Hook and Mr. Clark. How do they look without the beards? Weird. Really weird. <laughs> was there a lot of protest? Um, no, they said it was for a really good cause, so they'd do it. Now, how, how good a cause was it? How much money did you get for these guys to shave? Well, we had to raise over 150 and we got $192. Good for you, so you went over. Yep. Congratulations. Uh, you think they're going to grow the beards back? Yeah. <laughs> you hope they do? Yes, I do. <laughs> All right, guys, get working on it. Now over to you, Michelle. Oh, thanks, Lisa. I'm talking to Etty here from Pacifica. Etty, explain what Pacifica is. Well, Pacifica is a national organization of Pacific Island women throughout New Zealand. And the composition of our organization are mostly from the Pacific Island people, from Pacific Island women. Hmm. And Etty, you've been holding a conference here in Christchurch and you've raised some money. Do you want to tell us how you did that and how much it is? I think I'll introduce Paddy Walker, who is the founder of Pacifica, and she'll do that for you. Actually, we came tonight specially from a seminar where all of the women from North Cape to the Bluff have contributed to the money that we're giving you tonight. But we do challenge, as the youngest women's organization in New Zealand, we challenge all other women's organizations to better the $500 we are giving you. $500, that's wonderful. We hope all the other women's organizations pick it up. And right now you're going to sing a song for us. Oh, yes. We've got a song and we want to sing our, our Pacifica song for you. Thank you, take it away. Pacifica, thank you very much, ladies. Here's a nice idea. The Quality Inn, right next door to us here at uh, the Town Hall, on the corner of Kilmore and Durham, have a special supper on from 11 o'clock tonight until 6 tomorrow morning. If you're watching Telethon, maybe to a friend's house, uh, house and you're heading off home later on, call into the Quality Inn. All the staff are volunteers. All the profits come to uh, Telethon. And they would incidentally challenge all the staff at the Chateau Regency to do the same. So that's the Quality Inn, the corner of Kilmore and Durham. Okay, well done. Now, 
Alistair, whereabouts are you? Uh, I'm over here, Ken. Everything's under control, I think. <clears throat> well, as far as telephones go, anyway. I've got some guys here from the uh, Burnham Camp Fire Station. They uh, were walking in BA, which is what? Breathing apparatus. <laughs> yes, uh, I knew that. And uh, there's something special about this. What, what actually happened? Uh, we attempted and broke the uh, world record for walking with breathing apparatus. Great stuff, and they got uh, $1,800 plus. Isn't that great? Yeah, I'm moving right along, keeping in the theme of marching. Come on, everyone! Oh, come your card, please. Thank you so much. Now, Sophie, Maria, and David, uh, they walked from Hallsville to the square and raised how much? $350. That's great! Right, moving over to Pete the Pom. Right, here we go then. Uh, we've got Matthew Walters, which is one of you guys, isn't it? They're all students from Canterbury University. This fella's doing physics. Right. right. They've collected $60 by harassing fellow students, and they actually want to press it directly into Lisa's hand. But we won't do that on camera, because you never know what will happen. Now, these lovely ladies, there's Shelley, and there's Carleen, and there's Tanya and Michelle. They skipped for four hours in the driving rain and collected $124.50. Right on. Ken. Back to you, I am. Peter, I think it's time to check a new total. Should we go to our board? Our producer's deep. Okay. Yes. Hi, Kim. Go Welcome on. back. Should we check a new total? OK. Let's check the new total, shall we? Let's have a look at the board. And here it is. Oh. Wait for it. Look at that. Some more pledges here, David Van Tu. It's a celebration. Our stars are Blair Underwood, Hooperman's Alex Elias, Golden Girl Estelle Getty, and Late Late Breakfaster Mike Smith. In Hamilton, from Barney Miller, Max Gale, Sons and Daughters Kim Lewis and Antonia Murphy. In Palmerston North, EastEnders Susan Tully and Letitia Dean. In Wellington, Heidi Hire, Sue Pollard. In Christchurch, Coronation Street's Chris Quinton and Entertainment This Week host Lisa Gibbons. In Dunedin, from Coronation Street Helen Worth and Sons and Daughters Ian Rawlings. And in Invercargill, from Flying Doctors Pat Everson. Great stars. Yes, we've got the Eureka Jazz, gentlemen.
Oh, I know something I was meaning to tell you about. If you're coming down to the town hall at any time during telephone, bring a can of Pepsi down. Why can? Well, I'll tell you why. Bring the can of Pepsi down, write your name and your phone number, preferably your address, on the side of the can of Pepsi. There's a large container outside the town hall. That's supplied by the nice folks at Camalco. What you do is you pop your can of Pepsi with your name and address in it inside that. Later, towards the end of Telethon, we will be making one draw nationally. If we decide to pull a can out of the Christchurch container and your can is pulled out, guess what? You are on the way to London to see Michael Jackson live in concert. So when you come down to the town hall, then you bring your can of Pepsi. You could be off to see the gloved one himself. Okay, let's see what uh, Liz is up to on the phones now. Have they all got mics, Bill? Yeah. So you want me to throw it no, or you want me no, just to no, rev it off? Yeah, okay. <laughs> now? <laughs> Look, come on, get those phone calls coming. You know, in Christchurch, the number is 651 651. And if you ring, you get a chance to, you might speak to Michelle from What Now, or Amber from Spot On, or you might even get Peter Elliott, who's Rat Fink Rex from Gloss. So get those phones going, keep them ringing, keep us all busy, because that's how Telethon works. All right, back to you, Ken. Thank you very much, Liz. I'd like to introduce uh, two or three new members of our panel now. First of all, on my left, someone who, well, is this your third Telethon? F fourth Telethon. Anne Ballon, lady who needs absolutely no introduction. We were trying to, telephones do tend to sort of blur in my, in my memory after a while, but, and you were the chairperson of the Telethon for uh, in the Year of the uh, Disabled. A 1981. Couple of years 1981. And you have some pledges for us. Yes, we have Phil Oliver, $20, a pledge from the Black Adder car racing team of $20 if Lisa Gibbons will say, trust me, I know what I'm doing. Right. The, the Martin family, $10, if Lisa will do a cartwheel. Jay Latham of Culverton, $25. If Lisa and the Wizard will sing happy birthday to Rachel, who's 16. Thank right. you very much, Anne. And now, if I could introduce another new member of our panel, uh, the member for Southern Mara, the Honourable Fetu Tirakanti Sullivan. Yes, Fetu, it's a pleasure to have you with us. Likewise. Welcome to Telethon. Thank you. You have some pledges. And I don't know, Ken, if you're going to be so happy, but you've got to do five press-ups. Uh, that's the request of Adam Judkins of 182 Blyes Road, who's donated... Five $40. Press -ups. Five press-ups from you, Ken. Oh, is that the sort they wanted? Four, five. Thank you. Did I do well? Right. Well done. We've received that $40. That's, that's cheating. That's cheating, you cheat. That's innovation. That's not a press-up. Thank, thank you very much. And now that's a man cheat, who truly does need no world. introduction. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, oh, if I could introduce, underdressed for the occasion, my golf caddy. Good evening. Good evening. I'm delighted to be here. You're delighted to be here? Will you I have indeed. Something? Good I'm to have you here, Dave. Good. Some pledges? Some pledges. We've got some here from uh, Angela Tumlin. Who sends a packet of love if Brian will sing the te telethon, telethon thong. Telethon, and she's, she donates $20. Thank you. From uh, Carly Ransom, $10. We have another one here from the uh, Keithfield School, ex pupils at Amberley. And they challenge ex pupils from the Leithfield School to support Telethon and the 125th anniversary of the school next year. And they have donated $20 as well. Thank you. David, have I introduced... Yeah. <laughs> have I introduced... Can I, no, I'd better not do that. That, Krista, have you ever seen a coat like that before? Um, Isn't that absolutely incredible? You, you obviously lost the bet. <laughs> no, my tailor lost the bet. What, what is that noise that I hear? It's my pacemaker. Is, is, that, is that your pacemaker? No, it's it? an extraordinary thing that I was given. Look at this. If you ask me a question... Okay, ask me a okay. Question. David, uh, have you been arrested uh, on the street for wearing that jacket at all? Uh, Say that again. When's your birthday, Dad? What? What is this? Well, it's 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 called the Terminator. You don't like anyone, you go. Isn't if you that... like someone, you go. 
Is it that cute? R2D2 speaks. The place is going wild. Everybody's turning into lunatics here. It's actually Everybody. it's actually my pacemaker. <laughs> and it's calling me now. And listen, you what, I'm were, sorry. Those, what were those you were doing over there? Well, they weren't press ups. They're the press ups I get away with at the gym, Christopher. I, I they're thought, not the ones I, I You thought, can do the real thing, can't you? I, I thought you were tough. I mean that's sort of that's what Wally's do. Let's, let's, well, let's you and I do 20 press ups together now. Oh, no, 20 press ups. I think we ought to get. I think, I think I've, I've got a much 20. better idea. I want to see him do you 20. Sh you show me how it's done, and then I'll give it a go. You show, show me how it's done. Here we are. <laughs> one, ha one, one handed. Okay, right, when I'll do it. Okay, I'll do one handed press ups if you, if you do two handed press ups, okay? For every one handed press up I do, you have to do. A two-handed press-up, okay? All right, all right, all right, okay, okay. <laughs> right, together? I'll live to regret this. to you a lot of people calling in their money that's what we want you to do of course from the brownies uh, in Chevy up we have 2760 now that's a great amount they've been selling sweets at telethon center and uh, they're gonna start again in the morning good luck to you we'll put it here in the till also Ron Dobson has a $10 challenge and he wants this is interesting now Ron wants to challenge everybody who's had a hip operation to call in with $10 now I gotta figure there are a lot of people in the same boat so if that's an unusual one, let's pass it down the line and see what you've got. Right. I've got Cameron Wood, who's given us a dollar. And Lisa must say hello to him. Lisa, you've got to say hello to him. Cameron, come back over here. Camera two, camera two. Hi. I just wanted you to say, oh, get over here so I can have a special hello to Cameron Wood. And thanks for calling in your pledge. All right. Right. Now. Curtis Simpson of St. Martin's, four dollars if Lisa Gibbons would blow a kiss to his mum, Sharon. Curtis, a kiss to your mom, Sharon, that's easy. Here you go. Thanks. You gonna read some for us? Yes, I've got something for you to do here. Okay. Yep. This is from Anne Barnett from Harcourt's Realty. Now Lisa. If you're going to buy a house in Christchurch, yes. then if you buy your house through Anne Barnett, she'll donate half of yes. her commission to Telethon. That's a very tempting offer. That. That's very nice. Thanks. We'll keep that in mind. Now, here's, here's a pledge from Susan Rowe and Miriam Berber. Right. If we will all sing happy birthday to Kate, Kate Lewisham. So we've all got to sing happy birthday now. All right, let's go for it real quick, right. and then we want to get a new total. You ready for the happy birthday? Right. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday, birthday dear Kate. Happy birthday to you. All right, let's interrupt. we got a new total. We're going to go up here and take a look at how well we're doing here in Christchurch. And drum roll, please. Thank you. And the new total is... Check it out. I think Alistair has some special people lined up for us to meet. Alistair. Uh, what, uh, sorry, Ken, I'm a bit... Uh, here. Uh, I've got two um, quilts here. Uh, first one made by Jeanette Miller, is that right? Uh, yeah, Jeanette Miller and Margaret McPherson. And uh, the uh, knitted, fantastic knitted one here, which was knitted by the, um, and some uh, knitting group in Lincoln. And they've uh, both been raffled, and the winners are... 
let's quickly go through. The winners are um, is it Gil, uh, Jill Hogland, and um, Kay Bridges, and uh, they'll be sending those things out to you as soon as possible. I've heard that they before. Our Gil, not just us. Oh, I see. Gil, the Lincoln Peacemakers Quilting Guild made this quilt. I see, and and five hundred dollars has been raised from that. Yes. Thank you very much. Moving right along. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello. <laughs> Hello there. Can I have you reach out? Thank you very much. <clears throat> Daisy Curley, what's that? Curley was my friend, but he couldn't make it because he had to go back to work. And Daisy's me. And how much have you got here? Just over a hundred dollars. Whoa! Okay, moving right along. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, hold on. Better get over here. Can I have your red card, please? Thank you. Now, um, what's this? Lynette Linnett, the secretary of, of what? Pain Action in New Zealand, Pain Support Group in Christchurch. And, and what have you done? We've had a horse and cart and a bed, and we've brought them all the way around New Brighton, Aranui, Burwood, into Christchurch, with a physiotherapist and psychologist, Margaret Moon, who we kidnapped. They kidnapped me. <laughs> they what? They kidnapped me. Oh my goodness! I must say, they treated me very well. Well, you're looking pretty well at this very moment. And how much money raised? For? Approximately $345. $345. Well, thanks very much for that. That's excellent. $345. Let's everyone come on! I think it's time to uh, cross and see. Let's go down the other end of the town hall now to Amber Cunliffe. Amber. Oh, thank you, Ken. <laughs> hey, we've got some three girls here, and they do a little bit of singing, but with some difference. Now, they're not the Andrews sisters. They sing in three-part harmony. And well, how much did you raise? $70. When did you do that? Tonight. OK, are you going to have to sing a bit for us? OK. Pardon me, boys, at the Chattanooga Choo Choo. Plank 29, boy, you can give me a shine. I think that is over, right? Good girl. Okay. And moving right along, we've got Eileen here. Eileen's from the birthright place in Christchurch. Now, how much money did you raise, Eileen? $123.19. And Eileen, you're giving us a challenge. Who to? Ash Burton birthright, we want them to either meet what we did and or beat it and then pass the challenge on throughout New Zealand. Okay, and I think they can do that. Come on, Ash Burton. Okay, who am I going to? To Ken. Woo! Thank you very much. Some more pledges here. Holly McLaughlin of Avonhead, Colina Street, $30. If Chris will give her the tie that he was throwing around earlier. Chris, I know, I don't think we'll be wearing that tie and uh, I think, Holly McLaughlin, you may well have that. John Williams of Christchurch of Halberg Street, $20. If uh, he could have my bow tie. I know where it is. It's yours, John. Anne. Right. Well, someone called Wallace from Gloucester Street it wants to have Frank Flash blow a kiss to <laughs> Catherine Thompson for $5. Could we do that? I don't know where Frank's gone we'll now, Anne. Next time that. we cross right. him, we'll do that. Hyden Bull from Hornby, $2. He challenges all 10th grade soccer players to do the same. The pensioners at Jura Courts are hoping all other pensioners will do the same and give $10. And that's from somebody, Mrs. Kemp. Thank you very much, Anne. Right. We've got a, challenge, a, a pledge here from the Peer family of Wood End, and they're challenging Air New Zealand staff at number one hangar to do the same. The pledge is for $50. There are three more challenges here from a Mr. Douglas, $10 pledge, and he's challenging the voluntary guard at Wigram to do the same. Hans Mann of Opawa, he wants to challenge Peter Elliott to a game of euchre. He'll pay a dollar a point and a dollar a euchre, and he asks uh, Peter Elliott to remember the game of euchre that he played at Auckland Airport last week. So, there I'm you sure are. he does better. David. I've got one here from uh, Sue Bates, $50, and she challenges the Kings of Girls home to donate Friday's pocket money to the equipment, to the equivalent of $50. And I also issue a challenge to all those people in Rangatata at the moment in the middle of an enormous Christmas dinner party to raise $50 as well. 
Yeah, I've got one, uh, which is a mouthful at this time of night, but I will have a go. From the Edgeworth Spiritualist Church, and they donate $80, and they say to all the other churches, you do the same, so thank you. But Lisa wants to have a go as well. She well, wants I one. just want to do this, because here's something nice. The Smiths have evidently had a little baby who's two weeks old, uh, Billy. Uh, and this $90 is in honor of Billy, and congratulations and thanks. That's yeah. great. Congratulations. Back to Ken. Thank you very much, Chris. Frank, while you're here, you want to blow that kiss to Catherine Thompson's? We're five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars a kiss. That's two dollars. Two dollars fifty a lip. Ready? Boy has class. Boy has style. Well done, Frank. Thank you. Now, Tony Palmer. Tony, how's it going down on the auction stand at the moment? Yoo-hoo! Turns. Going in a taxi to his grandson. Now back to you, Ken. $1,000. Okay, time for some more music. Now we have the Eureka Jazz gentlemen again. On 88 right here in Dunedin. Are we having a good time, Dunedin? Let's tell the rest of the country what we're doing. And with me, the best of friends from now on, Helen Worth. How are you enjoying it so far? I'm having a great time. I hope everybody out there is having a great time too. Ian Rawlings, bad guy, too good for the night. Yeah, Dunedin is the place to be, isn't it, guys? Yeah. yeah. What can I say? <laughs> Michael Angelis, you might even have a pledge there to read for us. Have you found out how generous the people in Dunedin are. I can't hear a word you're saying. Yeah, what did you well, say? That's what did what you say? that's what happens with telethon. <laughs> Do you believe me? <laughs> 
you believe what I'm saying? Read a pledge, read a pledge. Open all night, 10% of process to Telethon from Rislin Road Food Market. That's fantastic. Um, hey, what is actually happening, Got another guys? one here. What is actually happening Michael is that we, Cooper. Have, we have a very special act lined up for you here. We've saved it all this time to bring you the Northern Regimental Whistlers. Have you ever heard anything like it? Just wait till you see it. Well, you see, if this is what we like to do in Dunedin, how do you like that? <laughs> I'll tell you what, they love it, they love it. And they do even crazier things in Invercargill, we're going to find out now. Hello, welcome to Southland. And it's a warm welcome from Southland, but a bit of a windy one. And that's caused a few problems as far as our transmission is concerned in Southland. We're not getting out. So we're going to make sure that we tell you, the rest of the country, what's going on down here. 81989 is the number to ring locally. We have a number of pledges. And let's get on with them. Michael Morrissey. Thank you, Boggy. Hi, Mum. Thanks for the fruitcake. <laughs> i got a pledge here. Jar Rasta. 122 Tweed Street, Invercargill. 50 bucks. Here's Pat. Watson, Churchman, Oripuki has sent in $50. It's a celebration. Celebration. Good times. your streets from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. That's the Lions on Sunday. Watch for them. Well, I'm out here in the foyer of the town hall with uh, Christchurch artist Keith Morant. Now, Keith is painting a very special telethon painting here with the logo here. This will be auctioned tomorrow for the uh, Home and Neighbourhood Trust. But, Keith, uh, there's a special connection with the uh, live feed from London tomorrow, isn't that right? Oh, yes, very much so. What has happened, actually, I've had a lot of luck. And the fact is I've had an exhibition in London. The people of Telethon New Zealand saw the exhibition, said, can we have it for the telethon? Yes, they've got a great show up there at the panel with all the stars and they're going to auction one of my paintings there as well for the cause. That's in New Zealand House in London, isn't it? And I understand there's a few big stars who are putting some money on it, I gather. We hope so. Let's hope there's a few around here too. Well, I hope it's got lots and lots and lots of noughts behind it. OK, we're after Michelle now, and she's lying on the floor somewhere collecting buckets of money, we hope. 
Thanks, Peter. I'm over here with Margaret Brown from Top Club. What sort of club is that? It's a slimming club. We're going 20 years. The oldest club in Christchurch. If it's a slimming club, shouldn't it be called Bottom Club? No. Right. no and what have you got for us? $375.50 raised by an auction and raffles. That's excellent. Thank you, Margaret. That's great. Good one. And over here I've got Melissa and Amanda. Now, you've got special requests. What are they? Um, to get Lisa Gibbons' um, signature. And you want it for somebody special, don't you? Yeah, my grandmother's 70th birthday today. That's great. And she's a big fan of Lisa? Yep. Yeah, everybody is. That's great. Okay, we'll find Lisa for you. Lisa, do you want to come over here and sign an autograph while I talk to a few more people? Okay, you wait there. Now, what are you guys up to? Oh, we're from Eve's Dairy, and we're going to be open for 24 hours during Telethon. We're going to donate 10% takings to Telethon, and all our staff are working for nothing. Okay, now where's the dairy? 252 Ferry Road. Okay, so everybody go down there and buy their munchies, because the money's going to Telethon. Thank you very much. Okay. Now we've got, over here, this is, this is Wayne. Yep. yep. Now, Wayne, what's, what's going on here? Well, uh, we did a logathon from uh, Geraldine to Christchurch. What's a logathon? Well, that's where we put it on the bikes here, and there's uh, two actually biking up. That's ridiculous. It was a lot of fun, though. Good. And how much money did you raise, Wayne? Uh, between $650 to $700 with more to come. That's wonderful. A big round of applause for Wayne and the logs. It's great. Good one. And over to you, Tony, at the auction store. Back with the auction, and it's the wizard. Wizard, what do you got on your wrist? Well, a couple of very interesting items here. You see I've got my super cool gear on now, with it trendy sort of stuff for telethons. But I've got a couple of things. One is a game called Salvation which is my own special game, if you'll hold that there. Salvation. This is available, but this will be auctioned by Tony over here. Winner goes to heaven, lose go to hell. It's a game for children. If parents want to see their children learning all about being good rather than being money games, this is the game for them, full of lovely parts. It'll be auctioned by Tony. There you are, what price, Salvation? That's my own genius game, only in New Zealand, no foreign stuff, no foreign rubbish. What I have on my arm, though, are the special things. I must show you on close up. It's very special. The Telethon Watch. Now, I want whoever's watching this, if you know who gave them, we don't know who gave them to us to sell. They were given to one of the staff here, and he's lost the name. They are $50 each. Mr. Wizard, sir. Yes, my dear. I mean, is everybody caught on about the watches now? I mean, you've got them all up and down your arms. Can, can I interrupt with another? You may, yes. Else? Someone say, no, these are $50 each from Tony Palmer's. $50. What have you got there, Lisa? I've got something from Flair, which is a shop that I happened to stumble into last time I was here. Flair um, would like for this to be sold, and it's got all sorts of stuff in it, potpourri and mustards and French milk. Mm, it smells lovely, doesn't it? Mm, very all subtle. Kind of, all kinds of nice stuff. So what, what kind of a price should we put on this? They didn't say. It's auction die, probably, and Tony Palmer can arrange that. Can you, Tony? We can auction anything here. Right, anything great, at anyway, all. And also, one more thing real quick. I've got some earrings here oh. that came in, and uh, these are great. Will these they people... suit me, do you think? Uh, well, they probably would. I don't we know. Can tell look. If they they were the designed... Right. Um, by yes, they would, wouldn't they? Do they're you know nice these chunky. people? They sent me some earrings that are great Girl. in their auction. Girl Bag, Bag City. City. Mm. Check it out. Pretty these nice. are beautiful, really. Yeah, okay. Look at that sort of gothic look, have they? They do. They're great. They go well with your robe, your, dress, your right. dress robe. My robe. So yeah. those are happening, too, and I just okay. want to get those two things. Watches, $50 from a special telethon watches and television game from Tony Palmer. That's not all we got. We've got mushrooms here as well. Boxes and boxes of mushrooms. Five dollars a box if you want some. There are lots of other things here as well. We just sold the Elf telephone, by the way, for nine hundred dollars for telephone. Ken. Thank you, fellas. Time now to check a new total. Let's go and have a look at our big board and see what the magic numbers say. Here we go. Let's roll it over. And there it is. <laughs> 198,463 dollars. Gentlemen, behind me at the moment here, we have the ladies and gentlemen from Banana FM. That's 96.9 uh, on the FM dial. Now, you guys, you're not on the air at the moment, but you're about to go on the air, aren't you? We're going here on Monday at 8 o'clock. Now, you're actually the, the, uh, the politic broadcasting course, aren't you? That's right, yes. You've been practicing hard? Oh, yeah, training to get there in the radio field, yeah. Tell us about the program you'll be broadcasting. 
Well, it's a mixture of uh, music, documentaries, um, community programs, yeah, yeah, yeah. bit of everything. We've got hot banana music. You, We've got cool but banana weather report. Excellent. Yes. And you have commercials? Yes, we definitely do. And that's how we got this money. We took a percentage of our advertising commercial money and we put it towards Telethon. $250. Well done. Thank you very much, Banana FM. They go on the air on Monday. Check them out, folks. Thanks for supporting Telethon. What have we got over here, by the way? This is Murray the Gorilla. Murray the Gorilla. Now, yes, I see you've got him on the leash there. Is he dangerous? Oh, very, very, yes. You never know what could happen. Such, well, which sounds like a plug for me for what's about to happen. That's right. Go for it, Murray. Uh, oh, folks, no. It looks as though we're about to lose a scriptwriter, a comedian. I'm sorry, Dave. He's on the telephone. They've got him, folks. The Gorilla got Dave. Now, it looks to me as though, it looks as though they're heading over towards, yes, it looks as though they're heading over towards the phones. I think that, yes, follow my lead, Gorilla, head towards the phones. Yes, he's got him up on the phones there, and he's going to hold him up there until he gets sufficient money for telethon. So you better keep those phones busy. 651, 651, that's our Christchurch number. 651, 651, keep that, those pledges and that money rolling in. Otherwise, Dave McPhail's going to be stuck up there on those phones. In the meantime, it's over to Peter Elliott. Hello. Hello. Um, hi. We, we need a camera down here. We've got a little... We've got a selection of five very pretty young girls called Claire, who's the spokesman. And um, they've raised $215 on a coin trail in a school that only has... A, a, a roll of 250, am I right? Okay, and what, you tell us how you did this. Oh, we had a coin trail at our school, and everyone brought coins, and they all put it on this picture of telephone that we made. Isn't that wonderful? Have you ever seen more pretty girls? I wonder if you can get the camera up here. They're very cute. And I think, I think one of them wants to kiss me or something, so shall we do that? So I'll kiss her, and then we throw to Lisa, okay? Okay, over to you, Lisa. Hey, check it out. Okay, gang, now this really makes you feel welcome when you arrive into a country and they've got your flag at the airport, which these people did when I got in. That's right, that's what. So, I mean, it's like, I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy. This is great. Can I just wrap myself in it just to make me feel at home? Okay. Now, what's happening here, folks, with, with Telethon? Now, tell me what's... That's right, I pledge allegiance to the flag and to the telethon of Christchurch. Now what's going on? You're doing some work on behalf of Telethon, aren't you? Uh, no, we just did some collections. You've all done collections around? And you've got your hats on? Yes, got to. So you're looking swell. Thanks for making me feel welcome and for coming down to visit with us here at Telethon. It's a wild bunch, so unless you really are sure of yourself, you know, I take a seat in the back and pray. <laughs> all right, thanks a lot. Okay, Peter. Well, hi. Um, we have Vin Piercy here with uh, the Happy Heart Square Dancing Group, who um, organise a square dance night with raffles and door takings and all lots of fun, I imagine. Um, ha how did it all go? Very well, thank you. Yes, very good. Great, great. Well, they managed to collect between them $710.50, and I think that's worth a round of applause. Everybody up there! Thank you very much. Moving right along now, we have Melanie, Tim, hands up please, as I say your name, Melanie, Tim, Karina, Katrina, James and etc. They must be the ones on the end. Um, farmers donated a wheelbarrow full of uh, groceries which were raffled and they managed to collect $320. Again, a big rap. Okay, back to you, Ken. Thank you very, very much, Peter. We have some more pledges here. This is from Rachel and Caroline of Hornby. If I will pull a face. There we go. Three dollars. Thank you very much, girls. This is from uh, $156.61 from a group of people who ran in relays from Hanmer Springs Queen Mary Hospital up in Hanmer Springs to the Mahu Clinic at Sunnyside Hospital. It took them 10 hours, and they say a lot of people are interested in this donation. So thank you very much, folks. $156.61. Simpson, uh, Simon Simpson, I beg your pardon. $50 for telethon if Chris will have a bucket of water tipped over his head. I think our Chris is game for a lot of things, but 
The bucket of water over the head in the studio here is not really a sound idea. But we hope you're still good for $50 there, uh, Simon. Thank you. Sh uh, is it Guy, Sharon, or Sharon Guy? I'm afraid I... I think it's Sharon Guy of Bishopdale. $10 for telethon if Nova, Alan, Wayne, and Debbie Guy will pledge the same amount. And Well, Pamela Letton is going to give $20 to telethon because her name has gone on TV. Tanya Lahore from Hallswell was quiet for a quarter of an hour. Tanya will donate $5 and will challenge Mary Doreen to do better. Peter Evans. I don't know what Pete's going to give us, but everyone who has a birthday should give a dollar for each year, and if I did, I'd be broke. <laughs> I don't believe that, Ed. Joe Freeborn of Fendleton, $10, will donate $10 if her father, Mr. Freeborn, will shave his moustache off after 16 years, poor man. My kids have been trying the same thing on me for years. It hasn't worked no. with me. I just hope that $10 donation's good no, despite that. Act. so do I. And the Stodham Hotel Social Club are going to give $50, and they challenge all other pubs in the area to do the same. Fair to. Yes. Well, we're going to see a canoe going down the Avon, and the person on the canoe will be... Well, there'll be several. Paul, David, Stephen... And they hope people will throw money into the canoe for telethon. There's another challenge here, and it comes from Maireho Pri Primary School. Rebecca Lee, Rian Williamson, and they are donating $20, and they hope others at Maireho School will do the same. Can I pick it up from you? Yes. Listen, yeah. I've got something special here. Remember earlier we saw these mushrooms gang? These are real buttes. These are real buttes. Okay, check it out. These mushrooms have now been sold. The proud owners are Shane, Corey, and Jason. They came up with 70 bucks. Now tell us how you got this money. Oh, we uh, raffled this cake in Warners and we raised $77. That's terrific. That's a pretty good price for a cake. Yeah. I bet it's a good one, huh? Yeah. <laughs> now what are you guys going to do with these mushrooms? I mean, really? Eat them. Eat them. Yeah. All right. Well, they're they're pretty. They're all yours, guys. I'm going to hand them over to you. Congratulations, you're the proud magic owners. Mushrooms. What? They're magic mushrooms. They are not magic mushrooms, Mr. Wizard. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for helping us out. Ken, back to you. Thank you very much, Lisa. Thank you. And now we have something really special for you. This is. Christopher Quinton. Now, now, Christopher has done, we've seen a lot of things that Christopher can do, but back flips leave me absolutely astounded. The one hand push ups, if I worked on them, I figured I could maybe do that in about 50 years. Here's another side of Chris we haven't seen. Are you ready, Chris? We're ready. You're all wound up. You're ready? Okay. Okay. This is the musical side of Chris Quinton, oh, ladies and gentlemen. A little rock and roll. Because we're going to do some good old rock and roll. Here we go. Yeah. Let the good job. And what about the way things are might have been so big? We'll keep on turning. Pride, Mary, keep on burning. Give us, give us, give us lots of money. Give us, give us, give us lots of money.
If you go down to the river, bet you're gonna find some people who give. But you don't have to worry if you got no money, cause the people on the river are not gonna give. So big we'll keep on turning. Primary, keep on burning. Give us, give us, give us lots of money. Give us, give us, give us lots of money. Listen to what I'm saying out there. Give us, give us. Give us lots of money. Give us, give us, give us lots of money. Give us, give us, give us lots of money. Give us, give us, give us lots of money. Okay, back to the boys. <laughs> German ape. <laughs> Actually, I've, I've got a chap here, Peter Jordan, who speaks with a strange Dalek. <laughs> uh, well, bit of a joke there. How, how you doing, Peter? Good. Yeah. Um, t tell us a story about this. Well, um, I set off from the square this morning and walked, pushed the Dalek to New Brighton, collecting money on the way. <laughs> uh, how much do you think you've raised? Oh, about $100, I feel. Dalek pushing. <laughs> That's a new one. I've never had seen that before. I'll tell you what, uh, you don't know how much we've raised. Well, the, BNZ, uh, I mean the, the bank people will um, count it out for you. So have no worries. Thanks very much. Big hand for the Dalek pusher. Over to Kim, I guess. Thank you very much there, Ballister. We have uh, three new members of our panel now. Can I introduce, first of all, uh, from the Deaf Association, Janet Watt. Janet, welcome to Telethon. Nice to have you with us. You will sign some of the pledges that we read. Thank you. Julie Cahoon from Fast Forward. Julie, it's lovely to have you with us. Are you enjoying Fast Forward? Great. Excellent. And at the far end of the panel, Val Young. Let's have a nice big round of applause for all of them, ladies and gentlemen. Val Young, of course, an athlete that needs no introduction to anyone in Canterbury. Gold medalist from way back. Val, in fact, could we start with you with some pledges, please? It is. It I is. Give it's on. Right. From Linda Megson from Vernon Terrace. Yeah. Chris, could you do Chris? Could you do some rock and roll dancing with someone who can really rock and roll? Uh, from Robin Cleaver in Edward Street, Lincoln. Chris reads this. Please say hi to Robin Cleaver and get the other Cleavers to better this. From Mrs. Rogers, Armagh Street, for three great great grandsons, Chris Quentin to read our TV. Right, we've got some more. From MC Barrett, Petrie Street, Christchurch, three week old daughter pledges this if all three week old children do the same, $5. Thank, Thank you. you. No, Julie. One here I think should take priority. Andrew Armstrong of Trafalgar Street says he'll give another two, he wants to give two dollars and he'll give another two weeks pocket money if this is read out within half an hour. I hope that's within time, Andrew. And he challenges all other nine-year-olds to do the same. Adam Anderson of Philpotts Road would like to see Lisa Gibbons' feet, if that's possible, wherever Lisa is. And Felicity and Caroline Bird of Westminster Street, St Albans, um, they're pledging $10 and would like all other twins to do the same. Shannon and Kirsty Hawes of Lake Coleridge, uh, they want to give $10 and challenge all Electrocorp families to do the same also. And one more here, Classic Auto Groom, they're giving $30 and uh, they would like to challenge and insist all car groomers better or do the same. Thank you very much for all of those. Thank you very much, Julie. We have uh, a donation here from Elaine Barrett, five dollars. Wants every other person who has received an adoption certificate to donate the same. Fine gesture. Kerry Brown, five dollars for telethon. If we will divulge Lisa's age, well, yes, certainly. I'd be delighted to tell you. We Thank you. 
This one, is that better? We're all happy now. Yeah. We've seen what Chris can do in terms of, uh, you know, athletics, but there's another side to you. There's the, there's the quiet, sensitive side too, isn't there? There's the, there's the music lover, isn't there? A little Bach, a little Beethoven, and would you believe a little Beatles? It's good old rock and roll! Here we go now, New Zealand! You want to clap your hands way above your heads, okay? Before I start singing, I want the whole place and the whole country with their hands way above their heads. Come on! Titi was a man who thought he was a loner, but he knew it wouldn't last. Titi left his home in Tucson, Arizona, for some California grass. Get back, who oh get back, who oh get back to where you once belonged. Get back, who oh get back, who oh get back to where you once belonged. Sweet Loretta Martin thought she was a woman, but she was another man. All the girls around her said, you got it coming, but she gets it while she can. Who oh, get back, who oh, get back, who oh, get back to where you once belong. I get back, you get back, you get back to where you once belong. I oh, get back, Jojo, here we go. I said, get. I said, come on now, you clapping your hands? Get back, who we'll get back, who we'll get back to where you once belonged. One more time. Who we'll get back, who we'll get back, get back to where you once belonged. Fantastic. Didn't know he could do that, did you? Well done, Chris. A special guest in the studio with us now. Bill, would you care to come down here and introduce your guests to us, please? Sure, Certainly. Gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, please come down. I think we have members of the Chinese delegation. Is that right, Bill? That's correct. Yes. This Mr. Zhang Wenjin beside me is the president of the Chinese People's Association for Friendship with Foreign Countries. And he was the ambassador to the United States before that. So he's a very Sir? important diplomat. A pleasure to meet you. Welcome to Telethon. And beside him is the Chinese ambassador to New Zealand, Mr. Ni Shung Jian. Sir, pleasure to have you with us on Telethon too. Thank you very much. Who else have we got here, Bill? We've got uh, Mrs. Ni, the ambassador's wife. Mrs. Ni, a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. And Mrs. Mrs. Zhang from Peking. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. And I Mr. Wong, also from Peking. Thank you. Are our friends enjoying Telethon? They're enjoying it very much. Yes, yes we enjoy it very much. Yeah. Well, I, I hope you can understand some of the, the chaos that is going on here. Do you have telethons in China? No, we don't have it. We have to, but we really enjoy it. Thoroughly enjoy well, it. it's a pleasure to have you here. Have you been passing the, the, the Chinese hat around, can I ask, for telethon? Or? Well, what they have brought are a number of little things that they hope you will be yeah. able to yes. uh, auction for telethon. What do we have here? Yes, uh, it's, uh, a hat, yes. Oh, beautiful fan. All carved, you see? It's flowers. Isn't that absolutely incredible? I'm sure Tony will be able to get something for that for telethon. That's a sandalwood fan. It smells beautifully. If you were to buy that, Bill, what would you pay for Oh, I'd be quite happy to pay 20 or $30 for that. Well, we'll say $100 for telethon, I think. I would hope so. And kind of silk. Scarf. A scarf. Scarf. A China scarf. scarf. A, that looks like a silk scarf. It's a silk scarf with a panda pattern on it. We'll get Tony to open that and display that. And here, they look absolutely beautiful. Yeah, uh, Chinese, Chinese porcelain. Bill, can I ask you to take that out and hold that up so that we can get a shot of that? Look, have you ever seen anything quite as beautiful as that Chinese porcelain vase? Now, they will go into our auction stand. You can call Tony and, uh, well, Tony will have a better idea. He'll have a talk with you, Bill, and, and yes, figure out a price yes. for that. I Gentlemen, 
I've Madam, got one thank other you. Idea, Ken. Yes. I've got a fan here from China. I wondered if Lisa Gibbons would like to sign it. Maybe you could sign, uh, could uh, raffle that. I'm sure Lisa will be delighted to. Bill, gentlemen, ladies, thank you very much, and enjoy our telethon. Yeah. Isn't that a nice gesture? Thank you very much. Okay, we have a new total. Let's go up and have a look at our board. Let's spin the board and let's see what we've got. Well, how about that? Over a quarter of a million dollars. We're getting there. We've got a long way to go. What are we, about 20 to 12? The night is but young, telethon is but young. A lot of fun lined up. Right, some more pledges now. This is from the Wilson family. They have two beautiful dogs, Safi, Safi is it, and Opie, and they would like all other dog lovers to donate $20 to Telethon. Would you care, Joe, to... Uh... I said, Joe, I meant Janet. Thank you very much, Janet. Kiwi Video of Sockburn have $50 for Telethon. They challenge all other video libraries to do the same or even better. Thank you very much, Kiwi Video. Karen Palmer, $10 wants all mothers with children to do the same thing that she's done. Give uh, $10 to Telethon. Thank you. And from the Robinson family of Bishopdale and Gardner's Road in Bishopdale, $20. They will donate $20 if the Syme family next door will do the same. Thank you very much. And now, Julie. Uh, here's a challenge for all the tradesmen out there. Mayo from Worcester, Worcester Street, Christchurch, has given $50 and would like to challenge all other painters to do the same. Sue Bates from Waltham uh, has, ch has given us $50, challenging Kingsley Girls Home to donate Friday's pocket money to the equivalent of $50. $20 from Philip Pigou of Beckenham, and that's in remembrance of Zoe. And Herons and Gabaras of... Irwell, RD3, they're prepared to give $10 if Kim Kabara, who's our producer tonight, and Ken Ellis do the tango. How about it, Ken? Tango? I've left my rose at home. If I can find Same. a rose, I'll definitely tango with Lisa. Or Chris, or the wizard, or anyone for telephone. Val. Right. From Lee Page, 74 Hoani Street, Papanui, pledging $5. Chal challenges everybody else who had a baby on the 23rd of August to do the same. From Emma Ad Adams, 17 Jennifer Place, Christchurch. All the Langley family are challenged to give $10. Mrs Wisner from Pegasus, A Pegasus Avenue, Christchurch, has given $50 and she would like the wizard to wave and say, hello Deborah. We'll save that one up. <laughs> And from Miriam Reed and Jenny the Cat, thank you very much for your five dollars. Challenge other residents in the street, that's Morris Hayes Place, to do the same. And one last one from Jonathan Baker, St Joseph's School in Ashburton. They had a mufti day, form one and two. They had a disco and they raised a hundred and eight dollars. Thanks. Thank you very much, Val. Now, a message from uh, the folks in Cust who are busy having their telethon, of course, and in, we call them our satellites. The folks in Cust uh, ask us if we would tell the people from uh, Oxford, Rungiora, and indeed Cust to ring their pledges in on a Cust number 848. So if you're in Oxford, Rungiora, or Cust, the number is Cust 848. Now, we've got, uh, oh, here's something from uh, Ashburton. $30 if we will say hello to Kelly B. Kelly B, consider it done. Thank you. Thank you very much for your kind donation. Thank you very much, thank you very, very, very much. Thank you very much for your kind donation. Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you very much to the folks out there. Thank you very much, thank you very, very, very much. Thank you very much to the folks out there. Thank you very, very, very much. You don't know how nice it all seems. It's been much better. Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you very much this Saturday evening. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much.